Hello? 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 Are we on the internet? Goedenavond. Goedenavond. Welcome to the internet. All right. Hey, everybody. We're here. Welcome to Dungeon Select. It's Wednesday, which means for the month of November, we're doing charity one-shots. So the same rules apply to this one-shot as to the one uh, from last week. Any donation from five pounds or more, you get to impact the game. Uh, and you can get as creative as you want. A few examples of things that happened last week was uh, giving people or the DM advantage or disadvantage on rolls. Uh, making it so that next time someone casts a spell, they get like a random effect from the, uh, the, the wild magic table happening. Uh, additional healing, perhaps, during a rest. Uh, you name it, it can be done. Um, for the minimum amount of five pounds donated to charity. Um, today, we're running a one-shot called Shore of Dreams, which is a one-shot all based around a group of uh, adventurers chasing down a legendary treasure that supposedly disappeared after the ship that was carrying it shipwrecked. So we're gonna get, we're gonna get into some, some good old pirating, dude. It's gonna be fun. Um, so, everybody here is not a stranger to the Dungeon Select brand. We've had Opti guest in last uh, Dungeon Select campaign. We've had Hunter for the uh, Hades uh, mini campaign that we did. Obviously, we have Duke here, and we have Hallucin, who I believe was on the channel when Laura did a one-shot. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yep. Yeah, go. I was there for her uh, festivities one-shot. Beautiful. Um, so before we start, uh, I suggest if y'all want to do a little quick, short introduction of, you know, tell people who you are in case they aren't familiar with you. We'll start with, uh, with Opti. Oh, shit. That's me. Hello. Um, hi. I'm Opti. <laughs> You're probably familiar with me anyway, but, um, I play video games on stream and I make music. Um, he does. New <laughs> album is in the works. <laughs> and it's taking forever and longer and longer because my day job hates me. Uh, <laughs> and I'm pissed off and mad about it. Mm. Uh, but hey, that angry mood is going into fun and into music. Also, I haven't come up with a voice for this character yet. So the first thing I'll say as that character will be my voice for the rest of the night. Nice, you dude. can donate now, like 10 pounds, and then tell me what kind of voice oh? and I'll do it. Ten pounds. Yo, That's chat? easy for the rest of the fucking night. There's your call to arms, chat. Let's go. Um, Dude, I'll match that. Actually. <laughs> Hal, who is your daddy? And what does oh, he do? Um, huh? Hal, Lucian. <laughs> Don't do much. I'm occasionally online and I chat with people here and there, and there's not a whole lot. I'm I'm here and D and D is great. And hell yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, Hunter is AFK, so, uh, Duke, you wanna just, uh, you know, I don't know, people know you. Oh, wait, Hunter's not AFK. Dude, I just Man, you really, you fucking got <laughs> debated, dude. Dude, I got debated hard. What the fuck? That's crazy. Okay, Hunter is here. Am I Hunter? You wanna, you wanna introduce yourself? Well, I'm the devil, you know, like bad in that regard. Um, okay. Anyway, let's bring all this shit out of the way. Um, important character. Always mm. important. Mm -hmm. Especially if Belle's here, because she's really annoyed that she doesn't have one. Um, I also have no idea where it came from or how to get it, so that's even more annoying for her. Anyway, I play games. Fair cool. Enough, fair <laughs> enough. Hold up I occasionally stash. try right. Oh. Filling in super full travel. Point. How much for what? Ten pound donation to charity to pick Opti or Duke's character voice. Um, there you go. Um. I mean, Duke, you want to just also, you know, I don't, can't, can't leave you out, right? Like, people know you, but eh, fuck it. Uh, I play D&D &D here sometimes. And uh, I stream. That's, that's uh, <clears throat> yeah. Nice. I'm the funny one. He is the funny one. He's also the modest one at the same time. It's crazy. And the handsome one. Well, it's it's really hard carrying all these, you know. But the handsome it, it, one, but we have, like, like, you know, we have Vincent as a guest now on, on Dungeon Select, and he's, whew. It's a good looking man, you know? So like uh, that's I, I don't know, the the you know, Vincent is basically Koi, but Koi is basically Vincent. <laughs> you know, I I don't know. Right. Alright. Um let me think. I need, to, I need to see that clip again to get sufficiently beamed. I don't think <laughs> dude, that clip is fucking cursed. 
I have anything else to announce. Uh, I went over the charity stuff. I'm very tired today, so bear with me if uh, things are slow. I've been up since 6 a.m. Uh, it's been a long day, but we're here to play D&D, so I'm not going to make mistakes because I, can j I just read what the fucking PDF that I have says, so it should all be good. So without any further ado, <laughs> shall we get into it, my friends? Let's. All right, beautiful. <laughs> So, do it. Do it. Today's adventure starts right now. Smile. Uh, this adventure takes you, your party, your adventuring party, you're, you're a group of, of, of mercenaries. Been traveling together for a little bit, so you, you, you're quite familiar with each other and, and, and your abilities. And it's not like you're complete strangers to one another. Rumor has spread about a great treasure hoard, pirates buried but never claimed near the miscliff of cults. Many talk of this great wealth, but few have attempted to claim it for themselves due to the risk that, that it involves. Locals tell of a tavern, the Shore of Dreams, a most welcoming Triton owns, uh, which, at the best, which is the best spot for crews to stock up before they head off on their quest. Unfortunately, it's never that easy, is it? So, you as a group, have heard that along the Miscliff of Cult, a great hoard of treasure was hidden by the infamous pirate captain, Captain Jade Scale, and his crew who died at sea. Since then, you've heard of adventurers from all over the regions headed to cults to try their luck, but no one ever returned. That didn't scare you, and you decided to give it a, to give it a shot, and you would be the ones to claim this treasure for yourselves. Let's see. So, the adventure starts when you when you have made your way to the Shore of Dreams and the village called Yokotoro. The village itself, quiet, ramshackle fishing village, but you've heard of the Shore of Dreams Inn being a very grand affair and the hotspot of the town. You find yourselves on a small island, surrounded by wooden pontoons and, and coracles. Inland, you can make out a handful of ramshackle bamboo huts and one far grander building, which must surely be the Shore of Dreams. As you get closer, you begin to hear the sound of merriment emanating from the tavern. So as you step to the streets of this village, um, for the sake of this, I would like for you all to quickly give us a description of what your character looks like. We'll start with Hunter Omega. Oh. Um. Uh, an elf, barely weathered. Just by venturing, age, things. Uh, Longish hair going down just below shoulders. With a. No, what kind of hat is it? An Indiana Jones style hat for no reason whatsoever. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> a whip on one side, a sword on the other, just a small one. But you can never tell he's a wizard because there are stars on his hat as well. Ooh. Things are important. Alrighty. On his Indiana Jones style hat. There's stars. <laughs> yeah. There's stars. Indiana also. Jones wizard uh, hat. <laughs> you people have to know you're a wizard. That's if you true. Have a wizard hat. Why? Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> I, can, I can respect it. Indiana that. Jones, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, but with magic. Hal. What is what's your his name? Look like? Oh, what's your name? True. Uh, Janus Iandana. Here we go. All right, Hal, would you like to give us a description of your character and introduce him, please? All right, well, uh, her name is Same. Just like the word same, same. Um, she's about, a, she's a uh, slightly over six foot tall water genasi. Um, a, a little bit of like muscle to the arms and legs kind of scenes, like no sleeves, kind of like uh, shorter uh, pants. Um, typical, uh, water genasi, so, you know, like, the blue skin, uh, kind of, like, bluish eye. Um, she's wearing, dye, like, light blue dyed leather armor that has a dolphin pin on, like, the, like, right here. Like, the lapel there. Cool. And, um, just, like, so a few general pieces of equipment, backpack, a spear, a bow. Um, but she does have the shield on her left side that has what looks like two big fish eyes on it that kind of gleam a little bit. 
and they also uh their hair is parted all to one side kind of coming down over the eye and down over the ear and it starts blue and turns kind of green over time like like as it goes down and she kind of looks like she's sweating a lot in general like if you look from a distance she just looks kind of like a little bit sweaty but if you get closer she actually has like a bunch of little water spirits just kind of traveling all over her randomly that's fucking cool and that's about it all right Hopsy. all right uh this is brech and you all you're fairly sure he's it's a guy but he, it's a very androgynous face um not necessarily pale more grayish skin hair is so short and weirdly unkept it peaks a little bit it almost looks burnt away uh he's fairly small 165 so pretty small kind of dude um and he he's always wearing his same leather armor and his beautiful flowing blue cape but what's most disturbing about well the two most disturbing things first his eyes it's it's you think it's blue, but it's very faintly blue, and it's almost white. There's almost no irises nor pupils. It's almost gone, but it's there. And around his arms, you can always see these very tightly twisting vines around his arms, and you can see the, the dried up blood coming from his arms. Clearly some form of thorns going into it but it's just always there and he doesn't seem to do anything with it or care about it but it's always right in his body i'm getting like like kratos vibes you know like with the chains around his arm really like, just like yeah. set in yeah. Kind, yeah. Of, kind of that idea cool yeah okay but a lot smaller than kratos <laughs> yeah that is <laughs> short fellow like, like oh, 165 is like, it's yeah. like five foot <laughs> Five foot yeah. five, five foot six, or something. So he's not yeah, tall at all. Five, yeah. five, five. Um, Duke. Uh, <clears throat> contrary to Brech. Brech. Uh, we have Gungnir, the seven and a half foot bugbear with uh, long arms, uh, shorter legs, but just a really you know gnarly torso. He's he's shredded. Uh, covered in tattoos of um, a nautical nature, but mostly indicative of like turtles uh, and and crustaceous sea life that seem to shift as you look at him. He's he's sh no no shirt, nothing above the waist, and just some ragged sort of leather uh, shorts that are cut off at the knees. Um, slung at his side, a long, mean-looking longsword. Um, <clears throat> He's he's like obviously, you know, he's a furry guy. He's a bugbear, but not 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 so bad. Like <laughs> tattoos peek through enough, almost like in an unnatural manner. They practically glow off of his body. Uh, he's got some gnarly gnarly tusks poking out from his bottom jaw, uh, and an eye patch over one eye. He looks the part. Okay, so with that, you four step off the ship that carried you to this island. And right as you step off, the ship pretty much immediately leaves again. You're in the town of Yokotoro. Village itself, relatively small, but highly diverse, with a whole host of different races intermingling freely. The majority of the houses are thick logs of bamboo raised up from the ground. To the south you see a network of pontoons where the fishing uh, coracles moor. The north are rice paddies cut into the hills. Um, the only one building that really that really stands out is this incredibly lavish, gr almost like gra like grand structure. The rest of the houses are of this like small bamboo design. What do you do? There's people all around you, kind of just like the townsfolk, uh, fish fishermen sitting at the docks, uh, several ships docked and and offloading goods or loading in goods what do you want to do what did you say the name of the tavern was yoko toro you know what's that did you ask about the tavern or about the 
Sorry? Was that, mm, did you guys about the tavern name or the town? The town. The tavern name. Oh, the tavern. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Shore of, oh, okay. the, the Shore of Dreams. Sorry. Right. I thought you said town. My bad. The one side of this great captain, Jack Sparrow, I think his name was. And there were <laughs> lots of ships in the harbor. Who's game? <laughs> oh, God. Where are we going? We take the ship. What? Then where? Well, the, the first lead should be at that uh, that shore of dream place, but is there anything we might need to see beforehand? It is rather pretty here. I'm here for treasure. Indeed. And a good drink after a long journey such as that will never go amiss. And it seems like that grand place over there is our goal. Nowhere else looks uh, appropriate. It stands out. Might as well start there. Well, come on then. Let's head off. And I'm just going to start. Just kind of. <laughs> I'm just merrily walking. <laughs> okay. And I'm very unmerrily walking. <laughs> <laughs> as you. Make your way through the through the small the small fishing village. You definitely catch the eye of a lot of the uh, the people that live there. Um, does any of you happen to have a passive insight of fourteen or more? Um, insight yeah, four. Sorry, fourteen. Yeah, I have fourteen insight. Okay. Um, you get the sense that um, the people of this town aren't quite used to seeing outsiders, especially a group of outsiders such as yourselves, which is just these various races uh, armed to the teeth. Uh, it's quite a rare sight in this town. You get you get some looks as you kind of walk about past. as outsiders as we possibly could be. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> You're definitely catching some looks. Uh, not any like ill intent behind them. Just, just you're just you're just catching looks. They're they're like looking like as you walk past them, kind of like keep, I'm keep sure we're at not. You as you go down the street, they're just not used to seeing people like your like your group around. Sure, we're not about to be rounded up and forced out of town in any way. Certain things are fun. They can try. As I crack my knuckles passive aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, shot of dreams. I hope the I hope the drinks are good. It looks a little too fancy for my liking, though. Is it? I like to picture Maybe a saloon. Fancy means door. a large select. You like to picture saloon doors? Um, I imagine it doesn't have saloon doors. It doesn't, but hey. <laughs> it does now. <laughs> um, Not many fancy establishments with saloon doors. As you get closer and closer to this this big this big structure, you see a two-story stone building filled with long tables and benches as you open the door. A blazing fireplace and a well-stocked bar. A handful of villagers sit drinking, drinking different ki kinds of, of whiskeys feasting on lavish seafood platters. In the back of the tavern is a decorated stage of carved bamboo, beautifully made sh sh a beautifully made shamisen? No idea what that is. Rest in the corner of the stage. Does anyone it, It's like an instrument with like strings that's kind of on the ground. Does anyone look particularly wise? Well, it's like a or... lute. It's like a lute, but more Asian. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. <laughs> there you go. I think doesn't. I think one of the NPCs in uh, Sekiro plays one. Anyway, does anyone look? Anyone in the tavern look particularly like wise? Like they might know anything? I mean, we've just seen what like villagers, townsfolk. Make a perception check. I win. I win these dudes. Uh. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, eight plus uh, two, so that's a ten. Okay. 
Um, you see quite a bunch of different people just around the tavern. Um, you see at one of the tables, seemingly uh, helping customers out, is a female triton. You also see running through the tavern a female rock gnome. Um, and you see two other people uh, that, that, that catch your eye. A female tiefling and uh, just a female human all kind of uh, running, running through the tavern. Some of them are helping tables. Some of them are, are cleaning. That seems to be, excuse me, uh, the staff of the place. Uh, the rest of the people, just like the, the townsfolk having the drinks, eating food, uh, they don't particularly strike you as... Uh, they're, they're all like dressed in these common, sometimes less upkept uh, clothes, uh, reeks of, of, of fish in there. Um because most of the food here, given it's a fishing town, most of the food being served here is fish. Mm. I would like to approach the Triton. Okay. Just sort of stomp over. She's so <clears throat> clearly... Um, oh, okay. I'm just... No, I'm just... I'm, I'm gonna, like... Uh, whatever she's doing, I'm just gonna, like... <laughs> like, tap her on the shoulder to get her attention. Just... Standing in the in the middle of this bar. Gonna have to wait a minute, love. I'm busy. Can't you see? And she doesn't even look at it's, you. It's important. So is this. I will wait. <laughs> okay. And I will just, I just stand, stand right behind her. Like, just waiting. At that point, like, as... as, as the, the table... You know, of customers see that you're not moving and they're kind of giving you looks this uh triton eventually turns around you could just you know have a seat order some drinks with one of my other staff and once i am done with what i'm doing i'll come see to you where is treasure what We are here for treasure. Oh boy. All right. I'm I will... Sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will... Um, just like grab... Well, I assume you guys came over with me. I hope. I'm sort of in your way. I'm, I'm sort of there. but I, Okay, I'm I will to... grab... Brech, Brech's shoulder and <laughs> just pull him over. Uh, We're here for treasure. Yes. Treasure. <laughs> Have a seat right up there. And she points at an empty table. I'll be with you shortly. And I'll just push Brech over towards the table <laughs> and go and sit down. <laughs> come on, sit. Back. Come on, come on, sit. God, oh god, what is his voice so uncomfortable? <laughs> uh, is there a barkeep as well, or is it just... Uh, there is someone behind the bar, yeah. The, uh, the, the female rock gnome that I mentioned earlier has, uh, has moved her way to behind the bar and is pouring drinks as, uh, as we speak. Is there any seated at the bar, like a... There's a couple like of stools, stuff? yeah. Um... Trying to be disassociated with um, good old bugbear over there. Mm -hmm. Gun there. Come on. Um, great in a fight. Less good in the social situations. Seems that way. Well, I, I just what? sit. I just sit. I just went to one of the tables and I sit there. Yeah, I sat with, sat with Brech. Okay. Uh, where are I'm you gonna going to be with um... those two as well. Oh, so, oh, there you go. Okay, cool. So, um, you three are same. going to sit at the table and. We've got Janice, who's making his way to the bar instead. Yep. Okay. As you get to the bar, you can see that uh, kind of like peering over, because oddly enough, this, this rock gnome, who is a lot shorter than you, uh, it doesn't appear that much shorter than you from behind the bar. And then you kind of peer over, you see that there's like this, this elevated platform for her to walk on so that she can reach everything and all that stuff. 
Uh, and she's in the process of, of pouring two mugs of ale and, and, and sees you approaching. Can I help you, love? Oh, I can wait till you finish with the current order. I do not That's mind right. waiting. Uh, yeah, I can, I can drink. If, if it's drinks you're after, I might as well pour them now. Well, drinks and information, should you have it. Information, that um, is. What about? Well, there was a pirate many, many years ago. Hmm. Who may or may not have left some treasure buried somewhere. Uh, oh, and uh, uh, some rum while we're chatting, please. Uh, of course, of course. But I suppose anyone comes through this way knows anything or you yourself know anything. She uh, she pours you a rum and kind of like slides it towards you. I'll be uh, two silver for that, please. I just put a gold down instead. I see. And just <laughs> clearly making sure that it's like, yeah, just take it. So you're looking for treasure. Oh, hold on, hold the presses. We got we got an old Shadow Geek dono. No. Oh, oh, oh. Over yeah, ten enter pounds. In the, enter in the comment as well. Accent for Opti, choose what? your own voice, but have a severe case of stain cola angles. Oh god. <laughs> Should I keep the golem voice? But just with like the I, worst I, I... fucking accent possible? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Stay cool angles I don't know if is, I can do is it. the accent that you always make fun of, Duke. It's like, you know, it's know 50% off. Yes, like, dude. that's literally awesome. stinko angles. It's your lucky day, Walter Lobos is 15% off. I don't know if I can do both. That's, that's... It's up to you. Also, Duke said he'd also... Um, I said for 20, you could pick both. For 10, you could pick one. So Yeah, so if, so if you did 10 again, he could also if pick another 10. what I meant. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right, so... She, she pockets the gold. Might be a little more specific. Back in the day, a lot of pirates roamed these seas. I'm uh, sorry, I'm not sure which treasure you're talking about. What was the pirate's name again? Uh, I mean, you oh. know that you're looking for the treasure of, <laughs> of, of Captain Jade. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, like, you, As know, I ask. you know this. It pops up on Discord. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it went by... Jade scale. I see. And let's talk to Pisca. But um, judging by the the the, the bugbear—is is that a bugbear? That bugbear over there. She seems a little busy, but um, she's the one you need to you need to go to. She's got a lot of knowledge. What a price! Well, uh, everyone has a price. It's just mm -hmm. about how much you're willing to pay for it. Exactly. She's busy, a busy woman. A lot of people want her attention, so you might have to be, have to be a bit patient, but um, she'll see it to you eventually. Thank you kindly. No worries. Devin hat and stuff like that, and then I joined the compatriots on the table. Okay. And? Beer. Is it, uh, is it, uh, is it looked? <laughs> Did you do it? I'm sorry, I, I had a very big uh, frog in my throat earlier, but now I can talk. <laughs> Where's frog? No, I swallowed it. It's okay now. Tastes good. No? Tastes good. Mm. No, no, cannot recommend. <clears throat> Where is blue lady? Not the same. Yes, and also the drinks. Did, did you order the drinks? Just mine. Why? I saw you talking to the uh, lady over there. Yeah, but he was just talking about the treasure, and I want, I want. I did you not hear me? I had a very big frog in my throat. <laughs> I need something to uh, water this down with. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna try to wave over the nearest server, whoever it is, whichever one. I try to. Wave. Uh, you get helped by a uh, purple-skinned female tiefling. Good afternoon, or is it evening? Uh, it's uh, late. Good late afternoon. What can I do for mm. you? Do, do you have something very strong that, that you know, uh, if you light it, it would burn, but don't light it. I need it for my throat. Uh, I had a yes, in my throat should earlier. Be able Maybe you with from... that. Um... Thank Anything you. in particular, or as long as it's strong? Um, some tea would be actually nice, maybe. I'm gonna pull out tea? this 
We do have these. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull out a with, scrap with some, parchment. And with like... some honey. Sure. Maybe some lemon in it as well. Of course. Thank you, that would be fine. All right, for so... me. Lemon tea with honey. So that's that's a that's that's a cancel on the very strong drink. Yeah, I guess. Unless no, no. Yes, unless strong, strong drink. Yes, yeah. strong. Oh, drink. strong right. drink. Yes. So one strong drink, one lemon tea with honey. Anything yes. else? <clears throat> I, I've taken out a scrap of parchment mm -hmm. from like my back pocket, and I'm like f flattening the creases out of it on the table. And I just pick it up and like hold it out to the server, uh, and it's it's written in Goblin, but it's it's just a scrawled note. I'm sorry, I I'm afraid I can't read that script. Treasure, Jade Scale. Right. Well, I'm not the one to talk to. You're going to have to talk to Piska. Just a, just a good strong mug of ale, or a good mug of ale for me myself. Can just like to start the day. Or start can the you day. bring uh, Piska over here? Perhaps. Uh, I believe she already told one of you that uh, she'll get to you when she gets to you, right? She's busy, she's the one in charge, she has to help a lot to keep up appearances, a lot of people. Just have some drinks, maybe some food, and enjoy your evening, late afternoon slash evening, and uh, she'll get to you when she gets to you. You're not uh, in a rush, are you? Well, a little bit. Well, the treasure isn't going anywhere, right? Well, maybe it is. Maybe it's a moving treasure. Do you know? Do you know anything about the treasure? All I know is, uh, is, is people have tried to go look for it before, and... Uh... And they couldn't found it, so maybe it is... What if know... someone gets there first? So there is well, a little bit of... Well, then you kill them and take hurting. it from them. Oh, is that what you're planning to do with us? <laughs> no. Okay. I'll get you your drinks and uh, Thank try you. to enjoy your evening. Uh, yes. Piska will get to you when she gets to you, I promise. Piska. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, she goes and fetches the drinks for you and, and puts, them on, puts them on the table and also has another another uh, rum for um, for Janice. Uh, she saw what you were drinking and decided to just... Uh, would you like to open a tab or would you like to pay now? I look around me anxiously. <laughs> uh, how much, I guess, would that, would that uh, mug of ale be? Uh, that ale will be one silver. And the tea? Uh, one I silver don't... as well. All right, so I just what? toss a silver. Thank you very much. I thought we were going Dutch on this. <laughs> uh, it's uh, two silver for the rum and two silver for the very strong drink for you. <laughs> Uh, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna look up <laughs> look up <Brian. laughs> I I grab one silver and I pay it. Great. You had uh, you had a very strong drink, so maybe uh... I only had tea. You you can't uh, do that to me, you know. I had a, a frog in my throat. And you, you take a big drink. Yeah, but, but you drink it. Well, I, I don't care who pays, but I'm still two silver short, so I would like someone to cough it up. I I'm also a little short. Do you have gold? Mm. Give me one gold, I'll give you your change. I'll just hand over a gold coin. So she, she takes the gold coin and breaks the change and makes it so that you get, um, you get eight silver back. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Mm. Not the brightest, are we? Hmm. Not the brightest. I pull out a torch. <laughs> we all move at our own speeds. Right. <sighs> do you? Mm. Well, need, you do uh, understand you that uh, you know. Do not piss on the floor and all that stuff. Is, is, is that? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Enjoy your evening. But that very strong drink. That's flammable, right? Maybe. So press digitation could set it alight. Um, In theory. 
You want to stay slight or stuff out? Okay, it says candle torch or a small campfire, but if it's flammable. Well, mm -hmm. does <laughs> precipitation <laughs> create fire or does it just. You instantaneously light or stuff out a candle or torch oh. or a small well, campfire. Okay, I'll allow it then. With that logic, I'll say sure. You, you, you I will obviously wait till he's about to drink it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I lift it to my lips, it ignites, yep. and I shy just suck it down, dude. I mean, fuck, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what's the worst that can happen? Uh, I mean, not much. It's, it's, it's a bit warm All on the way down. All his fire it, and... and it, well, you're you know, not it's warm on the drunk. way down, but eventually, you know, it extinguishes itself and... Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it got up pretty quick. It's not, you yeah, know. You're not getting drunk anymore, that's for sure. Uh, because you ordered very strong drink. I would like for you to mm. roll a constitution saving throw, please. Well, the, all the alcohol is out of it now since <clears> it burned. That's, that don't go that quick, dude. Come on. Mm, seven. Mm. Alcohol very fast. Seven? Very fast. Mm. Uh, you kind of like, as you take the sip, and you're not sure whether it's just the strong alcohol content or the fact that it's on fire, but you kind of <coughs> start like almost choke because it goes down the wrong pipe and it's. Oof. Good drink. My tea is very hot. Where is Piska? Uh, in your pants. I, you still see Piska, like, tending to customers and doing her thing. I chew his tea down to a drinkable level. <laughs> Thank you. This is much better. Thank you very much. I don't much really think there's any way we're going to be able to uh, get her to hurry to us, is there? We could be very annoying and then, you know, be the root customers. And then they then get deep. kicked out. Hmm. Well, not too annoying, but just annoying enough that she wants to hurry us along. Hmm. But uh, that... I mean, if you're capable of that... No. Hmm. I can only be not annoying or very, very, very annoying. So, uh, no. Um. <laughs> the chair I'm sitting on. Yes. How sturdy is it? I'm uh, pretty sturdy. Definitely I'm pretty... Uh, not built for someone your size, but it's it's not showing any signs of, like, you know, breaking under under, mm. under your weight or anything. If I, is there a way that I could like shift on it somehow, like shift my weight to just the back legs or something, so that they would they would break and I would like <laughs> fall on the floor? Like you're trying to purposely break the back legs by uh... yeah, just like I'm just gonna like shift back. <clears throat> um, just... mm. I would say for the purposes of this. Um. Yeah, I'd say just make a strength check for me. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, mm. you kind of managed to to lean back, and as soon as all your weight is now to be is now you know carried by the, just the back two legs instead of four. They snap, and you just you you tumble down and just uh, ah. getting the attention from a lot of people, Fucking including Piska, who uh, oh. she's a Triton, so she has blue skin, but her hair is this like long red. Um, looks at you with her arms crossed. Uh, sorry, kind of, like, we had a little uh, oopsie over here. Rolls her eyes and approaches you. All that to get my attention. I need a new chair. What you need is some manners, but... I need a new chair, please. She uh, gets a new chair for you and takes another chair and sits down around the table with you. So... Treasure, right? Yes, right. Please. Well, go on. What do you want? Jade scale. 
Oké. Okay. Er was dus pirate called Jade Skill en die had the treasure somewhere. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, no one found it apparently. And so we're looking for it. And we thought, uh, since you are uh, the big boss over here, maybe you could uh, tell us something a little bit about it. Have you heard something in all your times working here? And maybe people come by and they like, hey, I am looking for a jade scale. And, <laughs> and maybe that happened and that Make you know some information check. now. Yo, I win these. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because Warlock. Ooh, now math. Uh, 24. Well, okay. I'll play ball. But, before I give you any information, if you find the treasure, based on the information I give you, I demand a cut. Can do. Promise. 25%. Oh, no. I thought you meant, like, with a knife. No. 25% of what you find goes to me. Uh, let me do quick maths here. But um, we're with four, you're with one. And then splitting it between five would give you 20%. And that's 20 already a, a, a big lot. But okay. 20% uh, is okay. a deal? There's but just the side going. <laughs> very then we need very good information because if we're not gonna find it then uh, there's no use anyway okay there's so, a bit of a hiccup in the idea but very well 20% I first want all of you to say and agree to my 20% cut so that's two the other two rejectedly uh, not to sad okay what you big lad yeah pretty good okay I know where this treasure is. I found a map, which I can make a copy of for you. Um, while trading with some merfolk. They came bearing treasures from a wreck, which included the map. Um, I can make a copy of this map. It will take me about a day or so. Uh, because I, you know, I have, a I have an inter run. I can't just drop everything and start making copying this map for you. So if you want a copy of the map... Give me a day. I spend the night. It. Spend the night here. Twenty percent of the treasure comes to me. And you'll be off I can treasure hunting tomorrow. But then the night is uh, is free, eh? <laughs> Make another persuasion yeah. check. Yo, natural twenty. Oh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> the night will be free. Twenty-seven. <laughs> so. One day, so tomorrow evening, I'll have your map. And you'll be off treasure hunting. Perhaps you'll be luckier than the people that came to me before. It's been about eight months since I last seen them. Dead? How many were they? I feel like um, luck's pretty well on our side. How many were they? I believe it was five of them. Oh. Wrong types or desperate types? A bit of both. What? And like did you also uh, ask for 20% from them? Or more? Um, They agreed to give me 30, actually. Quite, quite sad that they didn't find because it. Because maybe they just found it and uh, booked it, you know? No, because one of them... Uh, well, one of them did return. Dead. Ah. D horizontal. And how did yes. he return? Um, some, some hunters of the village found him in the... In the woods. Cause of death. Not sure. Got stabbed. Extortion, yeah. I think. <laughs> Got stabbed. Yeah. Got I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... Who are the hunt? Who are the hunters that found him? Are they still here? Um, I don't think so. Actually, I think they. Well, they do live here, but they're on an expedition right now, and. Aren't expected to return for a few more days. Mm. Mm. It's quite sad. He was handsome too. It's a shame. Oh, we don't have that problem. Quite a shame. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Precisely. 
Nah, it was a shame. They were they were brave young adventurers, eager to make a name for themselves. And I guess they just went in uh, ill prepared and you know. Happens. Would love to know weird. what happened to the rest of them, but just by the one bloke that got found. I doubt the others are in much better shape. I'm sure you'll find out. Well, yeah, if you if you do happen to, I don't know, find them on your travels, let me know. We'll send them back. Sure. Right, so we have a deal then. 20% and you'll be off treasure hunting come tomorrow evening. Yes, and this whole night is free. And this night is free. Yes. I can help. I can help with the map. Uh, copying out. I am well versed in the cartographer's tools. Appreciate it, but I'll be all right. Me too. I don't believe you for a second. <laughs> I pull out <laughs> my cartographer's tools. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enjoy the night. Have some drinks. Have some food. Hope the rooms are to your liking. They're upstairs. Um. I suppose. Do you do you want to share a room? Do you all want separate rooms? Separate rooms, please. Big right. bed, please. I'll get you four keys then. In that case, she hops thank up you. from the chair and uh, goes to behind. Y yes, to... thank. Hmm? I just saying thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, she goes to the bar and, and grabs four keys and comes back to put them on your table. There you go. Just uh, the first four rooms on the left-hand side, as soon as you get up the stairs, uh, those are yours. Yes. Yeah, left's where did the hand where the thumb is on Dead the right one. side. Mm. Mm. I just grab the, his left arm, say. So. <laughs> 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 Alright. Well, good evening. Oh, we got another donation. Hold on. Oh, no. Skr, skr. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A Jamaican oh. bugbear? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so with that, you uh, you have some drinks and are kind of just soaking in the um, the scenery of of, uh, of this establishment. Um, that is until this group of. I don't know, the, the rowdy looking individuals barge into the tavern. Uh, there's three of them, and one looking like he's the one in charge. As you are sitting at your table, you hear a loud slam, uh, and several people kind of start screaming and, and, and running away. It seems that these people, uh, just the, the, their, their laying eyes on them is causing people to flee in fear. Um, as soon as that happens, panic starts to erupt, and these four individuals start throwing glasses that are sent that are around them on the floor, just chucking t chucking tables over, causing just complete carnage. I would like to. Th th this is just erupting like right in in the bar yeah, we're in right, right now. The like they walked I in want and just to... started chucking stuff over, breaking things. People are running and panicking. You, you saw Piska and uh, the tiefling uh, waitress immediately like dive behind the bar and take cover. I want to get up and dart to like the the edge of the tavern, I guess, and and try and like hide, try and sort of stay out of sight from them. Make a stealth check. Big old bug beard tries to hide. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. Uh, it's a 15? 15? Okay, good to know. Mm. Good to know. Mm, quickly. It seems that uh, because they're so busy just chucking shit around, and a lot of the, the, the patrons of the bar are kind of like fleeing and, and, and screaming, uh, they don't immediately like notice you kind of slinking into the shadows. Um, what are my uh, comrades doing? As you, um, uh, just this, this individual uh, wearing like the one in, the one in charge, slightly taller, wearing a hood, while the rest of them aren't, um, starts screaming. 
We're looking for Mirasa. Hand her over. Nobody gets hurt. I look around. I don't know who it is. Don't you? Is the is the rock gnome still around or is she um, run? Um You can't you can't see her. So okay. you don't know whether she like dove in like the pantry or like behind like the kitchen area or yeah. um, you know, one of the upsides of being short, I guess. This is uh, very easy <laughs> to just sneak out uh, without people seeing it. Um this man, as since one of you replied, walks over to you. Um, let me think. Murasa. You sure you've not seen him? If you are if, in something. Okay, hold, he just kind of, if, like, he kind of like leans towards uh, you, uh, and just kind of you can smell just the stench, just the stench of his breath. You can see these like crooked, rotten teeth. I just if he like makes any motion to draw a weapon or you know cast a spell or anything like that if he looks like he's about to get violent i want to throw a hand axe at him okay and i try and surreptitiously prepare an action actually uh you asked for the gnome right uh Hunter? yes what the is your passive Lady perception ah oh, 14. 14? You notice that as they say the name Murasa, uh, you suddenly hear this like very slight yelp. As you see the gnome now cowering behind a barrel in the corner of the room, the name Murasa seemingly caused the like caused her to make a reaction. Okay, Hunter's brain is huge. <laughs> um, I try and lock eyes with her in a question in any sort of way not like a ready for talking she'll look at you and just do this <laughs> over in the corner of the bar this fucking seven foot bud with bug bear <laughs> surprisingly low profile behind a table with just yeah, a hand on the thing about bear is like I, they're yep. very stealthy you know? i got a I plus can, nine to stealth yeah you can just imagine him trying to be like the bear ornaments in places, so he's just in a pose like that. <laughs> he's trying to blend into the scene. <laughs> I'm the rug. I'm lying on the floor. Like, um, so like a rug. we have this. We have this like leader individual, just like menacingly, kind of leaning over into uh, Brech. Mate, I have. Uh, I I just got here. I have no idea who this is. I would like you to step a little bit uh, away from me. Short. No. I would kill Brech supposed to work here probably under a false name ring a bell mate i just got here i don't know who you are talking about and i am kindly asking for you to step a little bit uh, behind make yes a, make, a, make a persuasion check uh 22 22 Oh boy. <laughs> he steps back and then turns his attention to the others at the table. How about any of you? Does that description ring a bell? A gnome, you say? Mm. Not really. Any identifying marks? Short, dark skin. Well done. You've managed to describe a gnome. Anything that's actually distinctive. Mm. While this is going on, I want to try and cast I mean, as soon as you... Booming Blade. Oh. It's, like, I mean, just, as soon as you somatic and material. Him, he whips out a dagger and just Quick toss. Yeah. That that is your like you so would basically hold the dagger. But he is going for yeah. he's going for just a thrust with a dagger, just as soon as you I'm gonna I'm him. just be, <clears throat> I'm just gonna I know I I know I already said I was holding an action or whatever. It's a yeah. bonus action. So it, it, it's quick toss. It's like a little extra quick. Okay. This might be kind of fun. So do I have advantage because I'm stealth? I'm Ste hidden from him? Um, I don't know whether that gives you advantage. I know, I know it gives you sneak attack, but I don't know if it gives you advantage. It's unseen attacker stuff, isn't it? Should say on your uh, sheet, right? Well, it's just he was 
Just from being stealthed, I think he was asking. Yeah. Does he get the advantage on the... That's, that's, yeah. I mean, if the description is like, if you are stealthed, then yeah. Because you are... I don't know! I don't know. Does it not say? No, uh, it, not in his uh, racial well, stuff. The, the be definition else. of sneak attack is... Mm -hmm. You do you have 2d6 damage it, uh, with a finesse or ranged weapon if you have advantage on the attack roll. And you don't need advantage if another enemy of the target is within 5 feet, which I guess well, there okay. is. In this case, that doesn't matter because he is in melee with your one of your allies okay. about to stab him. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, the thing I was talking about is the I just don't know if stuff. generally from sneak attack you get advantage or not. Like It's not from sneak attack. Um, but if it's... Not when a creature can't see you, you have advantage on attack rolls against it. As in, this is what the war is. Oh, yeah. If, if you you're hidden... attacking from hiding and are unseen as with a successful stealth check, you gain advantage. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Just make it short. <laughs> the, okay. It's just mix and match in the rogue stuff and the yeah. general stuff. This <laughs> is going to hurt. If, if this hits, <laughs> if that hits, this is going to fucking hurt. Okay. Oh, of course you get the extra, extra, extra. Yeah, so this is thir It's a 13 plus... Oh, I don't know what it is. It really, uh, plus seven. Uh, it'll be your strength modifier because it's a thrown weapon. So, seventeen to hit. Seventeen. Yeah. That hits. Okay. So, it's because it's a quick toss. I had a superiority die for damage. Mhm. Mm it is a hand axe, so it does one d six. It is a sneak attack, so I get two d six on top. <laughs> And then because I'm a bugbear, oh boy, it's a surprise attack. <laughs> so it's an extra two d six. Yep, I guess, dude. Bugbear rogues. Bugbear rogues, oh. huh? Okay. So six. We really do be out there. <laughs> we do be out here, bro. Uh. Fifteen. And then... 21... 25 points of damage with the hand axe from the shadows. 25 points of damage. Fuck me. Yeah, that fucking hurts. As he goes to... Just just, just a jab... Uh, oh, dude. Janice. One shot. New names. Janice? <laughs> uh, just into the, into the like stomach with his dagger. This hand axe just in his back, but he is going to go for a stab before we go into initiative. He is going to finish his like move. Um, that would be a uh, seventeen to hit. Yep. It's not going to deal nearly as much damage what? as uh, what the bugbear just dealt. But... <laughs> uh, <laughs> you take six yeah. points of piercing damage. <laughs> Uh, and with that, I'd like for you all to roll initiative, please. Man. All Man. right. The superiority on, on top, top is such a chef's kid. I would love to have that to just deck him. <laughs> just kill him instantly. <laughs> that would have been fucking it, awesome. <laughs> it, it probably could have. I mean, I don't know. Well, I don't know how much how much health this guy has, but it's yeah, four. So one d six plus four d six plus one d eight plus four. Jesus. Yeah. Oh my god! Bad initiative rolls for me! Yo, Sam! Don't worry, you're not alone. <laughs> Everyone's just really slow now. <laughs> Who are you I'm for? not. Okay. I need music. Okay. Initiative uh, 20 plus. 21. 21, right? Mm, 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 mm. Okay. When you only just realized that your DMs listen to Spotify, you should probably listen along. Uh, you can, don't have to. You can also play your own <laughs> stuff, but I do, uh, yeah, for, for streaming all that stuff. Uh, 15 to 20? 19. 19. 20. 19 for same. Um, 10 to 15. 5 to 10. 7. 5. Oh boy. Was that 7, Hunter? Aye. So 
a 7 for Janus, and a 5 for Brech. Yes. All right, with that, Brech. Gungnir. You just get to go oh, again? baby. Because you're so quick. Yeah, so how you, far you, am you I from this? Your, you've chucked your hand axe, but yep. as uh, this, this fella just planted a dagger in Janus's gut, what do you do? Around How you, far am his I three him? like his three goons have just Ooh. pulled the great axes off their backs and are also looking to get re ready to get involved. All right, I'm going. I'm going for a goon. Okay. Second, and just hit me with a one, two, or three. Because they're all goon pretty, number one. They're all pretty close together because you're in a tavern. That it's yeah. it's pretty close quarters. Okay. Um, so. After I threw the hand axe, mm -hmm. obviously I I also like I dual wield a warhammer and a longsword. Is that that's uh, okay for me to have those both out right away? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll allow it. Uh, so I'll close in with with goon number one and hit him with my longsword first and foremost. Roll attack. The shatter spike. Oh. Which is a twenty-one to hit. That hits. And because it hits, I'm going to attempt to disarm him. So okay. I'm going to make it a disarming attack. So it's going to do 2d8. And he has to make a DC 15 strength saving throw. DC 15 strength save? Yeah. Uh, nine. So he takes 15 points of damage and... He's disarmed. So his, he, his great axe, as soon as he whips it out, you just charge in with your sword and just causing him to drop the great axe to the floor. Uh, he, like, he glares at you, but, um, yeah, gonna, he him. Gonna follow up with a Warhammer swing to the cheek. Damn. Which is a 10 to hit. That doesn't hit, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, as you kind of like, he locks eyes with you and he sees you go for the second swing and he just ducks under it and you whoosh, swing wide, just swing over him. All right. Yeah, okay. that'll do it. That'll do it. Is that your turn? Yes. Uh, yes, same. sir. You're up. What do you do? All right. Pa uh, get it from the table. Like, this is. This escalated very fast. It sure did. I'm going to pull out my spear and my shield. And I'll just take a, a couple of stabs with this at Go At who? Sorry? You might cut out. Goon. Oh, sorry. Goon number two. Goon number two. Uh, yeah, so you like, close the gap and uh, you see that your your bugbear friend is fighting one of them and you just you just take uh, the second one that isn't uh, occupied. All right. Roll attack. Using a spear, okay, you so... say? Oh, damn. Yeah, spear. And that's 22 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and... Okay, so that's... So as I... At this... Person, this asshole here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also going to use my Gathered Swarm. A bunch of like, the water spirits that are all over me are going to kind of climb along the spear and give an extra jab. So that's going to be an extra 1d6 piercing damage with that attack. Okay. Is this some kind of Loki Swarm Keeper Ranger? Hold on. Yep. I think it is. <laughs> yep. Dude, that's fucking sick. That's sick, yeah. What the fuck? All right. So that will be... Uh, I'm trying to... That'll be 10 damage. 10 damage total. All right. Yep. Pretty good. Anything else? And I get one more stab. We get one more stab. Extra oh, attack. Oh, yeah, you're level six. You have, uh, you have multiple attacks. True. Exactly. So one more stab. Oh, that's probably not hitting. That's a 12. Nah, it doesn't hit, unfortunately. Just misses, actually, as a matter of fact. All right. Ah. All right. Is that your turn? Yep, that's it. That's all I got. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Gungnir. This uh, individual that you disarmed looks at you and is pissed. And instead of picking up his great axe, he is just going to try and deck you. All right. 
Uh, ooh, what's a natural... I can't see if that's an 18 or a 16. Natural 16 plus 5, 21 Yeah, that hits. That hits. <laughs> Um, you take four points of bludgeoning damage as he just clocks you across the jaw. <laughs> and then for his second attack, he's just going Ow. to, while he decks you in the face with his, with his right hand, he's going to try and just, like, elbow you in the in the stomach. Natural 20. <laughs> Ooh. Bring it on, baby! Uh, four plus three, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. And that's his turn. Um, goon number two now has an, a, a water ganasi right in front of him. And he's just going to take his great axe and try and cleave the ever-living shit out of you. Same. For a... Ooh, that's a 10 to hit. That's not going to hit, is it? Nah, not at all. <laughs> so he just, like, with his, with his great axe, just goes for this overhead swing, but kind of misjudges the distance and, and just <laughs> right in front of you it like it literally this close to your face it swings down and just hits the floor and then he pulls it out taking like one of the like floorboards with it um this is attack fucked um alright Janice I I whistles out um just a short bit of noise which as he draws his short sword just starts to weave it around him as he starts a kind of dancing like movement. Okay. Uh, which is a bonus action, which is ah, somewhere. That's the one. Um, so I, I've now got AC bonuses and other fun things. Blade singing is so fucking cool. Mm. <laughs> Hell yeah, blade singers are neat. Uh, <laughs> Is anyone else in melee with me apart from Big Bad? Just Big Bad, yeah. Uh, just Big Bad, yeah. Cool. Uh, I am going to attack him whilst okay. doing Booming Blade. Ooh. Oh yeah, you cast that right before... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, okay. I was hoping to do a retaliation with my fist, but nah. Uh, start it just as a snack action, which is... Um, yeah, mm. that's, that's kind of a mess. <clears throat> um, is it? <laughs> How much was it? It's, it's, a, it's a nine. Yeah, it's not going to hit, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, however, I will now leave being mobile without provoking an opportunity attack. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, wait, where's it? Why have I 40 feet moving? Oh, okay. Wow. Um, Thinking noises. No, I was just like, why do I have a spoken speed of 40 feet? But of course, that mobile feet gives me extra movement speed, which is now 50 because of yeah, blade singing. Uh, I am then going to move so that um, I have a large bugbear between me and the <laughs> annoyingly bad dude. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> bad breath, man. Wait, can I get 35 feet from the big bad dude and all his goons? Or is it not big um, enough? Yeah, you could. The um, Well, okay. Do you want to be 35 feet away from pretty much every bad guy? Everyone who's not currently in melee. Um, you would. But that was not big enough. Well, it is big enough. I'm just trying to think because there's one in melee with same. There's one in melee with uh with with Gungnir. Mm. So that leaves two people unoccupied. Uh, if you like walk towards like and maybe like take a few steps up the staircase, that'll about cover that distance. Yeah, I'll just be a couple of uh, ten feet behind uh Gungnir. Okay. But making sure he's between me and. The guy who just stabbed me. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> okay. In that case, is that your turn? It is indeed. Brech. Uh, yes. I'm gonna walk a little bit backwards because I'm not currently in melee with anyone, as far as I know. Correct. Uh, so I'm creating a little bit more distance uh, from a boss man, and then I would like a, uh, a dex save from boss man. Dex save from boss man. Ooh, that's pretty high. That's like a natural 16 plus 5. 21. Then nothing happens. Oh, no. I am all high and mighty, <laughs> but nothing happens. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Try, but 
just hurts my arm. Sacred flame or what? Unfortunate. Uh, is that your turn? Nothing else? Yep. Okay. Nothing else matters. Uh, the third individual uh, that is still unoccupied is going to sees two of his friends in melee with people and decides that the seven and a half feet tall bugbear <laughs> is a bigger threat than the water ganasi. So he's going to uh, get behind uh, or get to, to your to your side, uh, Gungnir, and is mm. going to swing at you with his great axe. Uh, it's a 12 to hit. Doesn't hit. As he Man. glances off the Tortuga-esque tattoos that uh, coat my body, they deflect his, his axe swing. Okay. Very fancy. Um, yeah. As far as the their, their leader, their captain, he is going to... Toss up. He's either going to go for Janus or he's going to go for Brech. I'm just, I'm just gonna roll for that and see what happens. Brech. Ooh. This uh, this 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 captain of this group of of of, of ragtaggedy captain stink breath brutish individuals is going to approach you and uh, whips out a second dagger and is going to just with both daggers try and stab you. So the first one is a... I may as well ask, but as a... Sorry? Oh, I was just going to ask if that goes out of my... Uh, if that goes out of my range or anything like that. If, that, if I could get a reaction attack or not. Uh, don't you don't, because you, you, you moved your way to, uh, to to someone else. So you you aren't in melee with him. Um, okay. Just wanted to be sure. First one is a dirty 20 to hit. That hits. Second one Break. is a 9 to hit. A nine? Mm -hmm. That does not hit. Nine. So you take nine. six points of piercing damage from the one dagger nine. that does make um, that land the blow. And that's his turn. Um, back to you, Mr. Gunir. <clears throat> gonna take a swing with the, the new guy that just showed up. Okay. I'm gonna take a swing out of my long sword. Okay. Oh, whoa, 25 to hit. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to extend a superiority die to make it a menacing attack. So he must make a wisdom saving throw with a DC of 15. Fucking hell. <sighs> no. He is it's... now frightened of me. Ooh, okay. And he takes... 14, 19 points of uh, slashing damage? Yeah. Okay. Whatever a longsword is. I think it's slashing. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of fucking damage. Uh, and then, now he's now he's a little scared man. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to swing the warhammer at disarmed guy. Okay. Which is going to fucking make That's an, uh, a 10. A 10 yeah, to hit. Yeah, doesn't hit. I'm sorry. Fuck. <laughs> Is that your turn? Yeah. All right. Uh, same. You're up. You still have this uh, this great axe wielding uh, bandits, pirates, in front of you. Um, how's he looking? He's looking pretty decent still. Uh, pretty, yeah, like, he's looking right. Standing like, tall. Uh, it's not looking bloodied. Not not at all. So he's uh, he's he's chilling. Okay, just looking to see if I can do a certain thing or not, see if it works Looks like this. Because I don't usually... The first time with this rain. No, you're good, you're good. <laughs> okay. New character, who dis? Okay, so... Uh, exactly. Okay, so... Um, let's get a look at the person. Okay, then. Um, and I kind of just jam the spear into the ground just so it stays somewhere nearby. Okay. Do a quick bit of spell casting, Ooh. and I'm casting Primal Savagery. So I get, like, these long, poisonous claws on my right hand and just take a slash at him in the face. That's fucking sick. What? Okay, yeah, roll an attack. It's, an, it's a cool spell. That's dope. Yes. That's acid damage. That's 22 to hit. 22 to hit? Yeah, that fucking hits. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so it's going to be... That that it's gonna be the 
the damage for uh, Primal Savagery. But I'm also, since again, he seems to be standing pretty tall still. He seems like he can actually take a few hits. I'm going to mark him as my favorite foe. Oh, okay, yeah. There you go. That's another, what, another D4, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. D6. Six. six. Oh, it's a D6 yeah. Level. Oh, because yeah. you're higher that level plus, range. Right, right, right. Primal Savagery is a cantrip. That and I can do badass. Gathered Swarm once per turn, so... Oh, yeah. So that's going to be 2d6 uh, piercing damage and 2d10 acid damage. Fucking hell. That's fucking sick. That's dope as fuck, yeah. If I can find one right You channel primal magic to cause your hey, that's four eight. fingernails to sharpen. That's sick, dude. Okay, so that's a... Uh, that's 8 uh, acid damage and 10 piercing damage. 18 points of damage total. Woo. Yeah, that'll do you. Fucking hell. That's sick. I had never heard of that spell until today, and that is fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> Alright, anything else? I saw that on the range list. It's like, oh, that's too cool. That's or Druid fucking, list. Sorry, That's Druid. a cantrip. Druid I can't fucking believe that. That's I just kind of... Hang up. What was that? Sorry. Bring it on. Right. Um, bring it on. He will, but not right now because it's not his turn. Um, this disarm. Um, this disarm berserker is. He's uses actually to pick up his fucking great axe, dude. He's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's his turn. <laughs> Smile. Um, now. The Berserker that has just been clawed in the fucking face by these acid fingernails is going to use his great axe to swing at you recklessly. Recklessly? Recklessly. Uh, it is a natural 19 plus 5, so I'm going to assume that a 24 hits you, same. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty close, but he got that hit. <laughs> I guess, I guess. Uh, where are my D12s? Uh, behind you. Oh boy, I'm sorry. Uh, that's max damage, 15 points of slashing damage. <sighs> As his great that's axe ouch. just just this time didn't miss this time and just like slams down and just like carves across your entire like torso. Yeah, that fucking. Whew. That reckless dude <laughs> would have been a fucking natural one otherwise. <laughs> hey, that's more of what we're talking about then. Okay, <laughs> mm. uh, Janice, you're up. Hmm. Decisions. Uh, I'll go up behind um, big bad guy. Okay. And attempt to stabby stabby him. Go for it. With boom and blade, because I'm a wizard. Why not? Yo, flank him? Uh, yeah, you could be flanking because he is in melee with mm -hmm. uh, with Brech. So if you wanna, yeah, if you get if you get behind him, behind him, then yeah, absolutely, you're flanking. Yeah. Advantage. Uh, attack Seventeen to hit. That hits. Uh, that would will be. Wow, these big numbers. Uh, seven piercing damage. Seven points piercing damage. Yeah, and then. I need one of these dice instead. Three points of thunder damage. Three points of thunder. And At this if point, he moves, uh, he'll take this guy more. is starting to look bloodied. He's uh, he's, he's he's feeling it. He's feeling it. Um, I will then take five feet or oh, step five feet back, so he'd have to move to get to me. Okay. And I just say, come and get him if you think you're hard enough. Trying to pay yeah, you can just move out of enemies melee because mobile willy nilly, right? Without as long as I attack them, that's awesome. I have to melee attack them first, which is why I can do that. That's cool. It's cool as fuck. Okay, so I'm trying to Hell trying yeah. to sort of taunt him to move. Uh, and then yes, that's all I can do. Oh yeah, all I right. just thought about it. I need to roll a concentration check. I just remembered for that uh, favored foe thing after getting hit. Oh, true, true, true. Uh, you took 15, so the DC will be 10. It shouldn't be too, too hard. That's not a high DC, and I have Warcaster, so... 
Easy peasy. Yeah, Easy peasy. no, that's what love it. All right, beautiful. Uh, Brecht. The natural, yeah. Can I get another dexterity saving throw? Absolutely. Oh, that do be a natural one. <gasps> nice. Mm. Sacred flames are shooting out the floor up over his face legs. Uh, his face legs? Not the face legs. Oh, not the face legs, not the face legs, dude. That's fucked up. Dude, that's... Face legs, third, no. Um, 13 radiant damage. Yeah. yeah, he's not looking too good. And I'm, I look at him angrily. <laughs> I told you, step back. <laughs> <laughs> your breath stinks. <laughs> Is that, uh, is that your turn, Brech? That will be me, me turn, yes. All right, I'm quickly, because frightened means that... Um, he has, I think, disadvantage on attacks? Disadvantage where he can see you. And, and he can't move closer move to you. To yeah, but it's already in your melee. Yeah. So he's just going to recklessly attack you and make that attack roll, like, you know, nullify the disadvantage. Nullify. Gives me advantage next turn. Uh, it does, yeah. Uh, 16 plus 5, 21 to hit. That does hit. For eight points of slashing damage as his great axe mm. swings at you. Uh, and the captain... You did kind of provoke him, didn't you, Janice? Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if he's... Because he's not very smart. I'm going to see if he's dumb enough to actually fucking take the bait. Oh, he fucking is as well. Uh, he's going to leave your melee, Brech. So if you want to, like, just fucking kick him or something. Uh, I don't know if you have anything... Melee on you, um, but you can. Any opportunity attack from Brech, just slap him on the back of the head. It's fucking. <laughs> he will take seven thunder damage when he moves. Oh. And yeah, he is moving. So. Booming blade. Yeah. Mm, not. I'm not. Poor man, sentinel. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. Ta you're not swing to attack him. Fair enough. I know. Uh, he I, moves, I and as he, as he does, he just fucking. <laughs> But does like close the gap to you, uh, Janice, and is going to try and uh, stabby stab with his both his daggers. Natural twenty on the first one. Uh, that's a miss. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> and uh, a natural seventeen for a total of twenty-two on the second one. What's the point of having an AC of eighteen if everyone just rolls high? I t <laughs> I mean, that's why I have an AC of twelve. The other guys, to be honest. Uh, natural twenty, so it's two plus two is four. Plus three is seven, and this one is also a two, so nine plus three, a total of 12 points of piercing damage. As both daggers just get planted. You've been, you're a, you're a human Oof. pin cushion at, the, at this point. <laughs> There's just so many like stab wounds of this guy's daggers just all over your body. <laughs> um, That is his turn. Gungnir, you're up. How rough is either of these individuals looking right now? Um, neither of them look bloodied. Neither of them look bloodied. Mm. And I, mm, okay, okay. I'm going to uh, the guy who's just picked up his axe. I'm going to take a swing at him. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Why didn't I swing at the guy that I had advantage on? Because you're not very Anybody? smart. You know? Anybody? Uh, okay, Just so that's the way it is. 11. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. Yep. And then swing the Warhammer with advantage at the other guy. Okay. Which is a 23 to hit. That does hit. And he's got to make a strength save throw because I'm going to fucking disarm him. <laughs> uh, natural 16. So he saves, but he does still take the extra damage. So it's, yeah, 2, D, 8, plus 4. Because I have two weapon fighting. Hee <laughs> hee. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, okay. 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. As he gets fucking clocked, me with that yeah. warhammer. All right, team. Is that your turn? Uh... Yes. All right. Same. You're still in this epic 1v1 with one of these berserkers. And he just he just kind of fucked you with his great axe last round. What do, what do you do? Yeah, that did. I was uncomfortable. Uh, how's he looking? Is he still like pretty like, uh, in good shape? This guy uh, is starting to look a little bloodied. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm going to do something a little bit the same. It's going to be the same, but it's going to be a little bit different because I just think it's going to be funny to do this. So I'm going to do another Primal Savagery Claw Uppercut to the face with advantage. Okay. Okay, not a 20, but uh, mm -hmm. 19. Yeah, that's... <clears throat> All right, so that's going to be 2d10 acid. That is acid, right? It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's acid. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's acid. Uh, that makes much difference, but I was just curious. Uh, you know, okay, if, if damage that's... resistances were you know a thing, then it's good to specify. Okay, so that's 12 damage, uh, 12 acid damage, and four piercing damage from the uh, favored foe. 16 points of damage total. Yeah. Woo! Alright. And... He has to make a strength saving throw. Natural 3, so that's not gonna fucking make the save at all. Okay, so... What I'm doing, uh, I'm using Gathered Swarm to move the target 15 feet horizontally in a direction of my choice. Okay. Where are you moving him? So I'm just gonna like basically hit. I'm basically just gonna be hitting him towards whatever far off corner that I can. I can't think of anything strategic to do, so I just kind of wanted to move him for the hell of it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. So he just like gets pushed 15, 15, 15 feet back, kind of like with his back against the wall now. <clears throat> All right, cool. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah, that'll be it. Okay. Uh, the Berserker that recently picked up his Great Axe is going to recklessly try to attack you, uh, Gungnir. I'm sure he is. Uh, it's a natural 20. Mm. Hashtag oh. rigged. You guys, you guys are level 6, dude. You, 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 you're okay. Mm. We can take it. You um, say to the wizard that's in melee. 24 points of slashing damage. I look pretty bad over here. Just gonna let you guys know. <laughs> okay. Pretty bad. I'm sorry. I have a plan. You look pretty bad? Mm. The uh, second berserker, the one that's still in melee with same, is going to... You know, Not in melee with same. No, because he got pushed back 15 yeah, feet. I... Right. <laughs> right, 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 right. So oh, that changes things. Because... Hmm, that does change things. He is going to instead... See that his boss is looking quite fucking rough. No. <laughs> no! And he's going to assist his boss man <laughs> instead, and is going to walk up to you, Janice. After being carried around the room by a swarm of insects, or oh, sorry, water spirits. My bad. Uh, oh, wait, he's flanking technically. So, does a nine hit? No. That was with advantage, by the way. Haha. -ha. <laughs> uh, Janice, it's your turn. So you know, you now I mean... have uh, like boss man in front of you, and you have this like great axe wielding berserker behind you. Okay, well, I just got fricked in the A world with a natural 20, so you can you can deal true. with a miss. That's true, that's true, that's true. How many of these guys could I get in a line without hitting anyone else? I mean, you can move freely because you're a twat, so... Uh... Mm, only if I do a melee attack. Oh, true, true, true. Um, if you... So let's say, if I, if I stay in melee with boss dude, but not the other guy. Yeah. That would, uh, how far I have to get line boss to... It won't matter. As long as it needs to go. I see. Uh, you could probably get boss man, the berserker, right behind you, and one of the berserkers that is in melee with, uh, with your bugbear friend in that line. Um... You would have to move out of someone's melee, though. Yeah. Yeah. The... Yeah. It'll be better off moving out of boss man's way, but then, given where he will be, that will only that will limit who I can hound. Yeah. Can if you want to get boss man in the line, you're gonna to have to move behind him. 
therefore leaving the other guy's melee. This is a terrible idea, but I'm going to move out of melee range of Great Axe Dude. Uh, 11 to hit. Oh, and he misses. Oh there my go. god. There right, go. if you can get the three people <laughs> to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Absolutely. Lightning bolt. <clears throat> that is a lightning. 13 on boss man. Fail. A 7 on one of the berserkers. Fail. And a 8 on the other berserker. So fail. Nice. All of them fail. All right. So, Ooh, good. For a moment, Janna stops. A point in his uh, sword just in a line, which suddenly gets very bright mm. and crackly. Mm. And then there may now be a hole in the side of the tavern. <laughs> as, a, as a hundred foot long lightning bolt Fucking comes out of the sword. <laughs> Fucking hell. For Collateral. 86 damage. <laughs> Jesus! All right, yeah, roll your, roll your fucking damage, dude. Someone outside Eight. the tavern just got turned into right? crisp. Yeah. Uh, this is like the one stone 13. building in this in the town. So like, could be you know, this could be all right. For twenty-one damage. Twenty-one damage of the lightning variety. Of the lightning variety. All righty. With that, you. Boss man's done, surely. Completely fry the hole through his chest. <laughs> like this lightning bolt just goes through boss man's chest and he just leaves a gaping hole and he collapses. The berserker that was previously behind you just chest just bursts and and just gore and and blood and and just bony bits of his ribcage just splatter all over the place as he also collapses and you also really fuck up. One of the, uh, the, um... I assume it was feared berserker, frightened berserker. Yeah, the, the one that is, uh, that is scared of you. Um, he's starting oh, to look, was. he's looking very rough. Not quite yeah. down yet, but yeah, I mean, boss man and one of the berserkers, done for. <laughs> so that, that's two down for two to go. Good shit. Surrender or die. Make an I say to the rest. Make an intimidation check. This will go well. <laughs> At least there were no negatives. I'll give, so, you, I'll um, give you advantage because you just sorry. fucking blew up the, the chest of two of them. Ten. <laughs> I rolled a ten and a nine, and I have a plus zero. <laughs> okay, I mean we'll we'll wait to see uh, how they re reply when it's their turn. All right. He, oh, he's no longer frightened by me, by the way. Just so you know, that ended at the end of my last turn. Yeah, he did pee himself a little bit when he got hit by lightning, though. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, just you know. <laughs> Just in case that was affecting the... Lightning. One of lightning side effects. Yeah, you just, just piss yourself. <laughs> um, uh, I'd like to make sure I'm 35 feet away from the remaining two people. Yeah, sure. Do that. Okay. Um... Brech. Alright. Um, first, I'm going to use my bonus action. Is... Our bugbear friend within 60 feet of me? Yes. All right. And I'm going uh, shine my uh, piercing little weird eyes on him. And okay. I'm going to heal him for the total amount of... Oh, that's nice. 19 HP. 19? Damn. With healing what? No, no, no. Healing light. This is different. Ah. Okay. Healing lights. All right. And that's nice. my Which bonus action. Which did mine. Uh, and therefore, oh, right, Jamaican, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I was still waiting for that. <laughs> oh fuck! Um, and then, as my action, I'm gonna throw another sacred flame at whoever's still fucking standing. Um, uh, yeah. Um, there's one berserker looking very fucking rough, and there's one looking a little healthier. Nah, take the fucking rough kind of guy. So, uh, he he can make a dexterity saving throw. That's so just, that's just a natural two, so like it doesn't fucking matter what his bonus is. It's not gonna be enough. <laughs> uh, that's not great though. Uh, that's ten radiant damage. I mean, that's enough. <laughs> Yay! That's enough. As this, just... these, these holy flames just burst out of the ground around him, blinding you all for a second. And as, and as you, your vision comes back, and and the, the like, just the, like the flash effect of the light suddenly bursting into the room dissipates. Has just nothing left but a pile of fucking ashes where once stood a tall, great axe wielding berserker. Now there's just a pile of ashes and the great axe is just clattered on top of Ooh, it. 
Good. And I throw a very dirty look at the one still standing. Okay. Um, is that your turn? Yes. Um, okay. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. Come here. It's back to you. I'm mad, dude. This guy's punched me. Hmm. He's fucking. He's he's a bad he's a bad boy. So I'm gonna just bad fucking. Team. He's the last one standing, right? He is. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm gonna swing both my weapons at him and go for it. Did he recklessly attack last time? Uh, this is not the one frightened. So yes, he did. He did recklessly attack you. Okay, I uh, rolled a five and a four. So <laughs> does a 13 hit? Just. Oh, okay. So this is the, the long sword. So that's... Eight points damage. Eight points of damage. And uh, Warhammer. Oh, is it the next attack or all attacks against it this turn that have advantage? Uh, let me quickly double check for you. I think, I think for reckless it's think all attacks. I think it's yeah. all. Um, let me quickly have a look see. Because reckless is crazy. Hmm. When you make your first attack and you turn, you can decide to do it recklessly. Advantage, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but attack rolls against you have advantage until your next turn. Okay. So any attack roll against him will have advantage until his next turn. Oh, okay. So 23 with the Warhammer. Yes, sir. For nine points of bludgeoning damage. Nine points of bludgeoning damage. He's not dead, huh? Nope. I spit on him. Um, and I say, maybe you want in them bones. <laughs> Zandalari souls born something. <laughs> they turn? Yeah. Same. You're up. Hey. Well, this has gone from generally kicking some braggart's asses to apparently melting everybody. <laughs> so, I should be used to this with you all by now. I'm gonna run up behind... I mean, I'm gonna take a flanking position against that last dude. Mm -hmm. I know I don't need it, but I'm taking it anyway. And, uh, yeah, Primal Sound again. Advantage. Let's see if we can... It's just a, it's a, I can't with believe it's a cancer. Death by lightning, death by fire. Let's see if we can have death by acid. I can't believe it's I mean, a cantrip. It's, it's crazy. It's Fish. a melee range cantrip. It does 1d10 damage. I'm sure there's there's plenty yeah, the of... Yeah, cantrips, you know, obviously because you're level 6, it will do 2d10, right? Because Yeah, so it does 2d10, but, yeah. Like, same with Firebolt, which is range. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, it just, I don't but know, it just yeah. sounds so fucking cool like, compared to some yeah. of the cantrips, you know what I mean? It's so, oh. It's yeah, sick. a blade, blade burst or whatever Level. it is is another one that seems kind of wild to me. That is kind of the thing. Right, that was a natural 19. So. Yeah, yeah, that'll hit. Absolutely. The, like the hunter and right, also so druid spells. Or so. Uh, four points of piercing damage and 14 points of acid damage. <sighs> um, how do you want to finish him off? <laughs> Violently. Describe uh, to us your killing blow, if you please. I'm just going to turn the person around to face me, just kind of pull them around real quick. Acid claw to the face, and then have my water spirits. Have your water spirits do what? Drown them. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the acid claw is running off. So with the acid claw, you just swipe across his face, leaving these just like these deep, like just scars and blood starts to pour out and these water spirits that are all over your body just start to trickle into it, this guy's mouth and nose and for for a bit you can hear like the sputtering and then the till eventually his entire body just goes limp and he just and you kind of let him go and he just drops to the floor okay Oops. and with that combat's over there's uh it's I a mess in the tavern, in the shore of dreams. But eventually, the uh, the staff comes back out of hiding. Thank you all very much for helping out. Um, Janus. Mm -hmm. 
This, um... I limp over to where the rock gnome yeah. was hiding. This rock gnome, um, comes out of hiding. Right. Thank you for not, you know. Oh, I can't abide idiots. And, hmm. well, to say that a brain cell between them would be, uh, overestimating somewhat. She now... Okay. How about this? As a thank you, have this. And she hands you a small vial. Put a drop of it in you and your friends' drinks every time you have food here. That's all I can say. It's just, it's just sriracha. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I kind of it's too risky start. to explain why, but just trust me. Uh, I take it and then start to bow and then stop halfway, wince in and go, I go. And uh, she scurries to the to like the, the kitchen. I want to root through some pockets and see if they had any uh, any valuables or coin. Uh, make an investigation check. You know, I would say I win these. Um, can I check the boss dude? Because right. I definitely don't have a much higher investigation skill. Sure. Yeah, I'll go for it. It's a natural one. Oh. Glad Minus I Minus one. Minus one. Bringing us right. to zero you, uh, on the investigation. You start searching through the pile of ash of the one that got sacred flamed, and just, there's just nothing there. Like, you barely, you barely see the great axe. Yeah, that's a natural six on my part, so that's a 15. Fucking hell, okay. <laughs> uh, you rifle through the um, bandits' uh, leaders' pockets and um, you find documents. Documents describing um, a rock gnome. Look, you know, description matches the rock gnome that, that you've met in this tavern. Telling that... Um, they will receive a handsome reward for turning her in. So it seems that this rock gnome has had does, some kind of bounty on her head somewhere, and these people try to come and collect. Does it say who will pay? No. For pay the bounty? No. Does it say what the bounty's for? Like whatever she did? Or was wanted for? Just, no. oh, is it just, dead or alive, or is it just? Uh, it just it just says, bring like to return, this rock. Right. Oh. Doesn't mention dead or alive. Um, how's okay? <laughs> We've made a fucking mess of this place, but uh, are people coming back in, or are they just? Is it a big uh, cleanup? Like people do slowly kind of come back in, and uh, the staff just like, and after a few minutes, uh the guards of this village come in and kind of ask uh, Piska in this case, since, since she seems to be to the proprietor of this, ta this establishment, for, for an explanation of what happened, and she gives it to them, and eventually the guards just kind of drag the bodies out and walk up to you and would have preferred him alive, but self-defense and all that, thank you. I don't think it's too easy to survive a lightning bolt. Is that what happened to the, uh, that pile of ash carrying a red axe? The pile of ash. The pile of blood what? and bones. Uh, yes, that was me. Uh, huh. Happens sometimes. Bummer. Uh, That's alright. I mean, like I said. Told um, them to step, uh, I told them to step back first, you know, but they didn't listen. Yeah, Pisca told me what, what happened, and um, I mean. Did us all a favor, appreciate it, and uh, we'll, we'll get this. Do you uh, do you know these? Uh... No, I can't say I do. Um, although some of them are pretty hard to recognize, as uh, one of them's pretty scratched pretty badly in his face, and a pile of ash is not going to fucking give us any uh, description. But of the people that that I do, you know, that do have a face left to uh, to look at, um, can't say I've seen him before. I point to the one with the hole in his chest. <laughs> that was a uh, leader. 
so I'm most likely the one calling the shots. So if you're going to get a name, it'll probably be his that you find. Hmm. Well, it's not going to matter now, is it? Seems you've taken care of the threat. We're just going to. I don't know. We'll see what the captain wants to do with them. And, uh. They are a bounty. Where put the bounty on the gnome's head? Might still be out there. That's so. Hmm. Any proof for this? We we uh, we found a note, right? You cannot see any notes around. <laughs> I am I'm not put because of the fact that she's got a bounty on her head. Right. Well, regardless, bounty or not, she uh, you know. Uh, They came to this establishment, pulled their weapons, attacked innocents. I don't really give a shit about their motives. We'll take, we'll get them out of here. Thanks again. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. You too. All right. And with that, I'll find a fortunately unbroken seat and uh, <laughs> sit back down for a drink. How's my uh, How's my party looking? How's How is the party doing? looking? Not great. Yeah. I. I <laughs> I will walk over uh, and uh, <laughs> I'm... place hand on your shoulder. And six HBs are being healed. Ooh, yeah, it's something. Six I don't times. know why fucking healing hands is one time six HP and healing light is like seven d six. It's because healing hands is a ratio, so it can't be too strong. Whereas your oh, is, is that a ratio? Class. Oh, yeah, yeah oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Of me. Never mind. That all that makes sense. That was a ratio. Yep. As you kind of sit down, uh, I food. just made Chan. Oh, sorry. I just made Chan a bottle of rum from behind the thing. Fair enough. I just put it on our Some table. Customers come back in. Music starts playing, and food is being brought out to you all. Piska, the uh, blue triton, gets on stage, and this one's for our most pleasing guests. Thank you for honoring our small town with your visit, and thank you for saving the establishment. Um, barring some furniture, but that can be replaced. And she begins to play a ballad on her shamisen, which is unlike any ballad you've heard before. Notes are crisp and clean, each one reverberating around you in your mind as she begins to sing. You find yourself intensely drawn to Pisca. Uh, I would like for you all to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, smells like enthrallment. This is wonderful. Uh, do I... Does this count as a spell or no? Um, Technically, no. Cause... Okay. Oh. Does this count as possibly being charmed? Technically. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough for me. <laughs> no, we should have gone with the first one. Uh, 13. 13? Right, a 9 and a 5. You know, mm. Yeah, 13 well. for me as well. 13, 13. I rolled a 14. 12. 12. L? 8. <laughs> you are all... Just 8. Just <laughs> your, your focus is on Pisca. Nothing else matters. All you can, you, all you can see and all you can hear is just the music, and all you can see is just her on stage performing this for you, and the entire rest of the world around you just doesn't matter. Um, with that, food is being, being brought out, and you start to eat. Um, oh, I do the chop thing. I need you because you're still very much not thinking about anything besides the performance. And I need you to make uh, mm, I'll say see if you remember ooh, the warning you got and the value you got given given what's going on so I need you to make another wisdom I need you to make a wisdom check that will be 16. 16. You, while still very much 
captivated what's going on kind of your body kind of like automatically just puts a drop of the liquids in your in your drink uh, do you do do you would you give your friends the same treatment yeah okay so all of your drinks uh have this drop of liquid in it and you you start drinking and then start start eating the food as you eat the food tastes off something's fucky with it and i need you all to make a constitution saving throw but because you got given the uh, the liquid you all have advantage okay fucking hell what is going oh, they're trying to poison us and unpoison us at the same time <laughs> nice 16 16 dirty 20 dirty 20 11 11 uh what is your roll hell 24 okay who hmm, who rolled the eleven again? Hanzo. Janice, you are poisoned, and you immediately fall unconscious. Oh my god! What? Just face down in your plate. Just the rest of you <laughs> don't seem to notice this because actually, mm... what's all of your passive perceptions? It's like nine. <laughs> 12. <laughs> 12. 12. 12. Yours was 14, right, Hal? Passive perception, you said? Passive perception, yeah. Uh, you said you said passive. It, passive. Insight was 14. My passive perception is 25. Wait, what? What? No one has the observant feet. <laughs> what? Huh? Okay. Uh, no. That is um, wild. What the fuck? How the fuck? Uh, Observant fears plus five to your passive perception. I intentionally go for this. Uh, it was one of my ranger trait uncanny. No, ranger trait uncanny. Double my perception or double uh, uh, proficiency to my perception, and then my sentinel shield gives me advantage on perception checks. Bruh. Bruh. Huh? That's crazy. Okay. Uh, in that case, I saw uh, you fuck. notice it. Uh, same. You notice Janice just like losing, no losing, losing consciousness. Um, you don't know whether it's just you had too much to drink, or because again, then again, again, you didn't really taste anything off of your food, and you just see Janice just like. Uh, but I mean, I did time, see Janice take a bottle of rum earlier. So. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, in that case, with Janice still unconscious. Eventually, the inn kind of empties, and you still sit there towards the end of the song. The three of you that are still standing or sitting don't notice these broad, pretty bulky looking people stepping up to your table as you all just feel this, this hard blow to the back of your heads I need you all to make um, another constitution saving throw but this time without advantage 11 11 natural 20 okay plus 4 24 uh, 6 16 Uh, both same and Brech, it's it's also lights out for you. Am I snapped out of the stupor at all? To you like... are being snapped out of the stupor and you see your three friends uh, unconscious and in the process of being dragged out of their seats and, and Janice is already being carried away. I mean, I'm swinging for the dude who just hit me on the back of the head. M make an attack. Uh, it'll just be unarmed because... Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a 19 to hit. 19, that hits. Uh, do I roll damage for this? Uh, I think it's just one plus your strength it, modifier, right? Yeah, it's five damage then. Yeah, there you go. Uh, he kind of like grabs his nose, like, what the fuck? 
I didn't, and he goes, boss, this one isn't letting up. Fuck. And Can Pisca I try to grapple him? Piska gets off the stage and just walks up to you. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, fuck's sake. Just sleep. And she kind of like blows this dust in your face. I, I this time, need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, that's not fair. Come on, natural 20. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, 17. Anyone vote to uh, burn this tavern to the ground when we wake <laughs> up? 17? Mm. Man, that's so close to making it. Fuck's sake, a natural 18. <laughs> that minus one fucked you, dude. 18 was mm, too soon. Yeah. Mm. I, I said, the food that put us put me to sleep, was that magical at all? No. Okay, cool. Just poison. Um, with that, you also I like... doze off. <laughs> and, uh, um, fucking pass out. are being carried away somewhere. And as you slowly awaken with a shiver, you feel groggy. Oh, and you ache all over, as if someone dragged you over the ground. As you begin to come to, you realize you're penned in. Thick bamboo logs are embedded in the roof and floor of whatever chamber you're in. The sound of dripping water echoes up from you, or up to you, from farther into the cave system. Careful now, as you hear from coming from behind you. Don't try anything too quickly. You are out cold. And with that, we'll uh, go for our break here. Yo, does that count as a long mm. rest? Um, <laughs> no. But how rest? How restful it may have I'll been. I'll give you a short geez. rest. I'll give you a short rest because you technically were out cold for for a little while. Oh, actually, short rest replenishes my hit uh, superiority dice. That's all that matters. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, give you I'll give you the short rest. Uh, but with that, we're gonna take a little break here, as uh, you've been captured by Piska. We'll be right back, gamers. Thank you so much for uh, for some of the charity donations so far. Uh, keep in mind, any donation of five pounds or more impacts the game, and and get you know get creative with it. Uh, we'll be. That's a weird to... question. But can I pick, can I like roll a hit die and then if it's shit, choose to roll another? Or do yeah, I have to choose the I'm rolling no, you beforehand? Can, you can just like pick them as you go. Okay. Uh, but with that, we'll be, we'll be back in like five minutes. Don't go anywhere. And we'll uh, we'll finish this uh, this adventure. Dumbest, most annoying voice possible up to you. That's what you're doing. <laughs> I, I, I know I was doing the dumb English, but I forgot the, mm. the pitch of the voice and everything. Hey, it's something like this, right? Yeah. Something, yep. yes. Yeah, you went, you okay. went like full Kermit. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, much. yes, that's a very good reference. It ain't <laughs> easy being green. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. So, we're going to just Hello. get right back into it. As that voice coming from behind you told you to be careful, um, telling you you're out cold, you kind of look around you and you are like penned in a small dugout area in what seems to be a cave. These thick bamboo. Uh, logs functioning as, uh, as you know, bars, keeping you locked in. You look behind you, and you can see both a male half-elf and a female half-orc. And the half-elf will, uh, will say, So, looks like, um, you were out cold. What happened? We got, uh, knocked in the, in the back of the head. Yeah, bam. We were sitting, eating food, would, listening song. I would not ever recommend that in ever again. Yes, uh, this is a mistake uh, we made. Uh, I'm Roland, by the way. Roland Moonbrook. This here is uh, Chung. And he nods to the half-orc who just kind of sits there begrudgingly. Seemingly do we still have our weapons? Very angry. No. No, you do not. Am I still poisoned? You are not, no. Cool. Uh, you have none of your equipment. Uh, the only equipment that you still I... have is the clothes you were wearing. The rest of your belongings are all gone. Okay. Uh, <gasps> Including my shiny rock? Everything. Everything that wasn't your clothing has been taken. Is there oh, a sorry. door? So. What was that, uh, Hunter? Is there a door? Um, or a locked entrance of some kind? There's no door. It is just these bamboo bars. 
Do they go from floor to ceiling? Yes. How sturdy do they look? Very. Roland will kind of look at you. Similar to what happened to us. Uh, don't tell me. You looking for, uh... Jade's Kill's treasure? Yeah. Yeah, so will we. Uh, I won't tell you yep. then. So will we. Uh, we came to this, uh... This island... A few weeks ago. Uh, there were more of us. Um, we got drugged. Something put in our food and uh, woke up here. Um, we came to the island searching for Jade Skill's treasure, but Piska and her employees tricked us. Ended up here. Every night, either Piska or the Tiefling or some, even some of the, the village guards came down to get one of us, giving us picks and shovels, forced us to excavate the ruins below. There was two more of us, Eric and uh, Welby. But, uh, they drowned after getting trapped beneath uh, the rubble that happened when they were trying to excavate a cave. The ruins that they're making us excavate seem like some old temple. And, uh, we've heard Piska talk, uh, when she was with, uh, the tiefling Temerity. About a powerful artifact inside. And apparently the closer breaking through into the final rooms after clearing a large natural cave. But they say they heard noises from beyond the final rubble wall. It's been our life for the last few weeks. Welcome to the party. Where is Jade Skill's treasure? I'm starting to think that treasure doesn't even exist, mate. Lied? Or... <clears throat> Seems the best lie. Village was in cahoots with Piska. The guards are in on it. The, the, the civilians know what Piska's doing. Whoever we asked about the treasure, they were all, oh, go, go talk to Piska, go talk to Piska. Everyone had the same story. Starting well, to, see, to think this village is more than just uh, a small fishing town. Tourist trap. <laughs> I suppose you could say so. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Quite, quite indeed. <laughs> Well, the best <laughs> lie is a half truth. There's clearly some sort of treasure here mm. in these ruins you speak of. Um, so you don't know uh, how to get out here as well. I'm assuming you're not here for the funds, uh, right? Which, honestly, they keep us underfed. Most of our strength waning. <sighs> Giving up hope, to be honest. But Can I uh, see any uh, anything in his face that might, I don't know, seem like he's lying or not telling an the entire check. truth? The oh. swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, <laughs> and nothing but the truth. 19. Uh, he seems very genuine. It's, uh, it seems that his that there's no tell clear tells in his like mannerisms or his expression that would make you doubt what he's saying. And there uh, must be some way out. any of you would know some magic or something? Not really. I can... I'm, a, I'm a scout. I used to be scout myself. And uh, Chunk over here, what was it you were again? And Chunk kind of pipes up. Nothing really. I uh, <laughs> beat the shit out of tavern brawlers for fun. How did they let you out when you go to dig? They, um... Just kind of... I don't know, actually. There's there's no door, but... Somehow... They, they... She says a few words, and... It's this bamboo... What word? No. Can I get a uh, detect magic on this bitch? I uh, do uh, detect magic. Sure, absolutely. Uh, actually, I'm assuming you would use some kind of spellcasting focus or component pouch to cast a spell, right? No, no, because it's from my eldritch sight. Oh shit! Okay, never mind. Um, oh, or locks. There is. 
definitely some kind of uh, magical aura surrounding this uh, this this bamboo wall. These bamboo bars. Are we being uh, bamboozled? <laughs> I punch him. <laughs> Ow! Stop. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, you're a pretty big fella, right? And he looks at you, no. uh, at, you know, at the, at the seven foot five bugbear. No. I mean, if you reckon you can just fucking barge through this, you still got your wits about you, you seem pretty strong. I'll, uh, I want to give the, give the bamboo a look over and see if any of them seem unstable or weak at all. Uh, make a perception check. Great. I just cast Eldritch Blast. 14? No. 17. 17? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple of places where the bamboo seems a little less sturdy than the rest. Do you just cast Eldritch oh. Blast? Uh... Yeah, I just pick a, pick a spot. <laughs> Roll an attack. Fuck it. Uh, uh, can I do the same with uh, Primal Savagery? Sure. 15 to hit. 15 to hit? Yep. Okay. And because why not? Okay. Who doesn't like can fire? I, <laughs> can I direct them to the weak spots that I've just kind of. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've... They're... There are two beams uh, totaling up on a 14 okay. damage. Uh, so, like, make sure that if you're casting spells or anything, make sure that you don't require any components besides yeah, uh, yep. speech uh, and yeah. yep. Because uh, if, uh, if it requires any sort of co material components, you cannot cast it, unfortunately, yeah. because your belongings are Unless, gone. Yeah. My, Unless, yeah. it, Unless it's dirt. We we'll probably have some dirt. Yeah, there's, there's yeah, <laughs> dirt all allow. There's, there's dirt around you. It's about it. I'm going to go to eight the... fire damage. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna cast uh, your, your primal savagery as well, uh, Hal. That's uh, you can do that. Uh, yeah, it's somatic only, but okay. I definitely very clearly missed the bamboo cage because I rolled a one. <laughs> Unfortunate. Okay. Uh, but the combination of the eldritch blast and the what did you call it? Cast firebolt. Firebolt. Uh, just as two of the bamboo bars just blast out creating a gap large enough for you to to fit through probably takes me a little bit <laughs> you're pretty big but yeah. um, i get through we get through can i check for traps just outside of it because i'm paranoid like that make an investigation check it's what i'd do if i trap people up in a magical oh yeah 15 15 uh as far as you can tell there's no traps where is our equipment? Are you asking this to the two uh, prisoners that were there before you? I'm looking around for it. Oh, you looking? Is it conveniently kept in a box directly outside the cage? <laughs> yes! Um, no, it is not. Yes! That was a sneeze of disgust. <laughs> um. I'll, I'll look around and see if there's anything noticeable like that could hold our stuff around here, boxes or, or <clears throat> crates or anything at all. Okay. Uh, well, you look around. Um, there is a tunnel that uh, continues down uh, to the east. Um, when you look west, um, the tunnel seems to end up in a dead end. So the only way you really can go is east, but there's no clear... Uh, place where your belongings would be. There's, there's seemingly nothing in that dead end. Uh, uh, make, uh, make, 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 uh, make an investigation check if you're going to go and check. Three. Uh, I wanted to aid. I actually wanted to go and follow Gungnir and, and aid him in that. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, probably be better if I aided you in that case. <laughs> I mean, if you want to ask someone to look over something. Nah, I'm already doing it. Fuck it. <laughs> Fair enough. 
So, roll the natural four before that was a three. Uh, yeah. It's a natural one. Uh, aside that, which is ah. a zero. So, I guess we'll settle for the three. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, as far as you can tell, it's just a dead end. Ah. Hmm. Nothing here. Just drop my fucking phone. And I will just make my way back down the tunnel towards the cage and. Uh, you said the only way we could go is east? Correct. I heard west! I would like to, as sneakily as I can, <laughs> which is head very. down the, Which <laughs> is very. Which, head down the eastern tunnel. I would like to follow suit and do so behind him. Yep. I'm sneakling along. Okay. All y'all make stealth checks, please. How is it dark in here or um it's dimly lit. I don't have a problem seeing. Me neither. Nineteen. Nineteen, uh, okay. Eleven. Eleven. What did you roll, Hal? Thirteen. 13. 28. 28. Wow. The uh, half-orc and half-elf uh, accompany you and... Careful. Biska passed by earlier in a hurry. Uh, she didn't even pay his mind, so th th she'll probably be further in the cave. Um, I... Don't know where our belongings would be. But... I mean, maybe we can find something in these caves. I'm not sure. What do we find as we head down the tunnel to the east? As you uh, head eastward, um, you move further in, and the sound of dripping water intensifies. And after around 30 feet, you find yourself up to your, like, just getting into this large circular chamber. Uh, a a room of a, a f just strewn with rubble and the water uh, the the dripping noises come from just this large uh, stream of water coming down from uh, from the ceiling of the cavern filling up this entire room. You reckon that uh, the to to if you were to cross or continue into this room, you'll be about like waist high or waist deep in water. Only there was some mm. mercury around. Um, um maybe uh, our uh, water friend uh, takes a look first. If uh, if there's something under the water, I don't want to throw you in the water. But uh, if someone needs to go first, maybe someone that can take an actual like swim, you know. I, turn and look um, the same. I can go ahead and look around a little. Yes, I was, I was about to agree with that. Hmm. I can uh, I can make some light for you if you want, but I don't know. Uh... Is it is, uh, is it clear water? Is it? Uh, it's, it's a little it's a little murky. Some light would definitely be appreciated. Uh, stick out your hand for me. I cast light on his hand or her hand. <laughs> Before they go into the water, I want to cast Mage Hand and just make it do movements and like as far into their thing as I can in case there's something lurking in there. Okay. Just make it a little like splashy. See if there's yeah. Any See if anything goes to bite it. Um, as far as you can tell, nothing. The mage hand gives a uh, thumbs up. <laughs> I want yeah. to um, step into the water and then submerse myself up to just my nose. Okay. And and hide. Make stealth check. <laughs> Roll for. Oh, that's rough. Uh, twelve. 
this room, um, you can either follow the bend and continue southward to where there's a bunch of rubble uh, kind of blocking your path. But to the northeast of this, uh, I'd say room. It's not a room, but you know what I mean. The space um, to the northeast, there is a door. Hmm. An actual door built here, then. And then the water, I'm assuming, doesn't go that way. It's not like... Or is there, or if we go that direction, northeast, there's still going to be a bunch of water. Uh, you're not sure. Like, the door is kind of like... Uh, it's also in... like it's, it's towards the edge of the chamber, so the water is less deep there. But it's still like, I don't know, like a good foot or so high. Um, so you don't know whether... It... You don't know whether the door is blocking I... the water or there is just water on the other side as well. Does the door look new I or do very, want to... very old? Um, new-ish. Definitely okay. got put here semi-recently. It isn't like an original yeah. part of this cavern. Yep. I'm just going to curiously check the door for traps just in case. Make an investigation check. Ooh, that's a... Ooh, that's a good roll. Good roll. Um... Like that it was a dirty 20. Dirty 20? Uh, as far as you can tell, there's no traps. Okay. And the other, like, tunnel that we haven't seen just looks like a bunch of rubble is there. Um, yes, but there's also, you can also see, you know, like, pickaxes scattered around, and it seems that this might be the, um, rubble and, and the, like, the last layer of, 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 um, wall they have to, they, they were talking about, like, you know, Pisca said, was talking to her allies that, uh, they were close to breaching the final chamber of whatever temple, um, there's a lot of pickaxes around, and it's definitely, you know, it's definitely been chipped at, so you you hazard a guess that's probably what they're talking about. I want to dip my head below the water and see if I can see anything below the water. Make a perception check with, um, say, disadvantage. I do have dark vision, but I guess, I mean, the self Yeah, but, like, it's just because the water is yeah, dirty. No, just... <laughs> one was a natural 20, and one was a natural 9, so 11. As far as you can tell, there's nothing in the water. Mm, okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to move just uh, crocodile-like, just move through the water up okay. towards where uh, Same went and towards that door. All right. Can I check through where all the pickaxes and the rubble and stuff is to see if there's anything besides pickaxes? Okay. Uh, make, a, make a perception check. Not investigation? <laughs> Donate five pounds to charity, and you might change his mind. <laughs> nah, Oof. make a perception. Uh, twenty-four. Cause yeah, not twenties. There you go. Nice. Uh, nah. As far as you can tell, there's just pickaxes thrown about, uh, some shovels as well, but uh, the, you know, digging tools, not much else. Yeah. Are there four pickaxes or greater? Uh. Or shovels. A, a combination of these tools. Are there four or more? Yeah, if you combine shovels and pickaxes, yeah. Cool. I carry four of these implements back over to the group. Okay. Might as well have some weapons, right? <laughs> yeah, you'll, yeah. You'll, you'll have two sure. pickaxes and two shovels. Oh, yeah, I'll take a pickaxe. <laughs> uh, do you want uh, two? Because I... I d <laughs> uh, <laughs> are pickaxes and shovels considered versatile? Absolutely not. <clears throat> I... Um... The, the the other two guys were with us as well, right? Oh, that's true. Yes, the um, the orc and the, the, the oh wait, scout no, never mind. And, sorry, I like the armor style. Pickaxes are first style. Sorry. Oh. Okay, I wield two pickaxes. <laughs> Here you go. I uh, I just throw uh, some Eldritch blast or whatever. I, 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 I'm very picky about my axes. 
<laughs> is he always like this? Uh, mm. Is he always like this? Only oh, with our, when I'm getting you out of a bamboo cage, big boy. Fair enough. So uh, I take a shovel then, and I guess same <laughs> takes a shovel. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yes, I will take a shovel. Okay. She um, uses a spear. It's not all that different. Just maybe not as sharp. Precisely. <laughs> so what is it? The what is it? Uh, you held. do. There's this door to your like to like the northeast of the of the chamber you're in, or there's the there's the rubble to your south. I'm a kick through the door, boy. Make strength check. Oh, is is it locked? I mean, you're trying to kick it. You didn't just, check. Maybe. You kick it. Uh, seven. Seven? Uh, you kick the door, and you can feel, like, your entire, like, foot and leg just, like, uh, nah. I try the handle. Try the handle? It is locked. I pickaxe the door. I can open it, oh. but it'll make a big noise. Oh, hmm. I mean, so it pickaxe. 300 feet. Oh. Well, 300 feet, but I can guarantee it'll open. Um, Fuck it, dude. I say open it. No. No. Um, no? There are more quiet ways to open the door, but... I don't know. Just If you pickaxe uh, softly into the lock or whatever, that, uh, that doesn't make as much... You know what he's about to do, and that makes a, a whole lot of noise. I can't believe I've got proficiency and thieves tools and no thieves tools. <laughs> <laughs> but you got a pickaxe, like hitting hitting the door with the pickaxe makes less noise than what he's about to do. I really don't start with these tools as a rogue? I mean, Hold on. Oh, have all, have all your <laughs> fucking items all your are items gone. Been got a bunch of our That's stuff. true. It you do matter. start it. If your first class is a rogue, yes, my first them. class is fighter. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Can I? Can I search for some some small implement uh, among the the gear that I might be able to pick the lock with? <clears throat> make uh, make an investigation. Anybody have a hair pin? Investigation. I barely yeah. have hair. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. You notice that the half orc has her hair kind of like in a knot, mm. and there's a pin holding it together. A point of the half orc. Pass over the hairpin. I'll pick the lock. Huh? And she like pulls the pin out, and her hair starts like just flowing down her back. Because you're worth All right. <laughs> Hands you the pin. I'll take it. And I'll go down to the lock on the door, and I'll start jimmying it around, I guess. Um, ah, fuck it, dude. I'll, I'll, I'll give you this. Uh, make, make Just make a check for these tools. That's a dexterity Which, plus proficiency. Dexterity plus proficiency. Yeah. Okay. 19. Uh -huh. Oh, it's like natural instinct to me. Can I have my pin back? What if there's more doors? <laughs> okay, it's... Or what if our equipment is in a chest and I need to open the chest? I, better I keep it, I think. All right, all right. So I'll get it back as soon as we find our shit. Sure. Thank you. Agreed. And I'll uh, pick, pick up my, my <laughs> double-fisted pickaxes <laughs> and proceed onward. Uh, you open the door, and you find a room. Within it, still like a foot layer, a foot high layer of water. And uh, at first glance, there is a chest in this in this area. Fancy chest or crappy chest? Big chest. But not Trap. ornate or fancy stuff. No. Um, would you like me to check? The, tr the chest. Mm. I will. Maybe the whole room. <laughs> I will check the entire room into the chest. <laughs> to satiate a bugbear's 
Paranoia. Make an investigation. And as mine. Excuse me. Uh, 21. Mm. You look around. Um, you... The chest definitely isn't trapped. Uh, but what you also see is... Um, Uh... No. On second thought, that is all. Sorry, I had to double check something. Um... No, on second thought, that is all you see. Is this room just got the chest in it? Is that it? As far as you can tell, yes. Okay. I go to attempt to open the chest. And... Uh, the chest is locked. Oh, I'll push my way in there. <laughs> with the hairpin. Yeah, make another and... uh, check with your thieves tools. And I Dex plus my... proficiency. <clears throat> While Gunnar's doing that, I want to kind of stand as close by as I can, just scouting. Okay. <clears throat> I got a nine. Nine? No. How big is this thing? Uh, quite big. It's like um, twice as big as like your ordinary chest would be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb on top of it. Is it padlocked or is it like? Uh, it's, a pa uh, it's a it's a padlock, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna stand on top of it, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna like line up a, a pickaxe with the lock. Oh god! And I'm just gonna fucking boom like down like smash it. Okay, uh, roll an attack. Uh, it does. Is it like a, an actual stat block for a pickaxe as a weapon? Um, it is a versatile weapon. There's a d6 damage. Okay, so I'll have a plus four to hit. I guess same as. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Ten to hit. <laughs> I mean, it hits. That is the AC. So should I roll damage? Yeah. 10 was the AC of the lock, so... 8 damage. Uh, and with that, as you swing, you 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 just break the lock and the lock just falls off. I just... I want you to know that the uncommon weapon that I brought mm -hmm. is called Shatter Spike, and it is literally made for exactly this, and you took it away from me! <laughs> oh, I'll flip open the chest. Uh, your belongings. Chuck Horror. bites you. And I, well, I pull out Shadow Spike and I fucking hit a shelf with it. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Natural 20 automatically fucking fuck you. Uh, nine points of damage to the shelf, all right? Get fucked. Sure, man, sure. <laughs> there were, wasn't a shelf in this room, but I'll give it to you. There suddenly was a shelf and you uh, fucked it. <laughs> I take all my bits. All right. Um, Same Z's. Same here. I'm going to start the like, two, uh, pick up things immediately. The, the half-orc and half-elf also put some armor on, and I, um, I'm afraid we're not really in fighting condition. We've not eaten properly in a while, and would it be possible, um... I have some food uh, here. Uh, if, if everything is here, then I should have at least some food. Right. Would it be possible if we bar ourselves in here, and once you find a way out of this place... You come get us. Um, yes. That works for me. Turns out I don't have food. Why do I not have food? I don't know. It's weird. Typically, you start with some food. rations, right? Normally, yeah. if uh, you can't fight, I'd see you go first and, you know, take any arrows or traps. But uh, my friends seem a little more... Uh... I give them four rations. Benevolent. <clears throat> yes, we're not using random people we found down here in a cage as trap. Uh, as you uh, are kind of discussing this, you suddenly hear this loud <laughs> coming from uh, the room that you just came from. I hide. Make a stealth check. 
I want to hide you near the door that we came in through. So okay. you are like, made of I'm hide. Oh, <laughs> twenty-seven. Okay, yeah, you're hidden. <laughs> I, I I just blend into the fucking ground immediately. Extend frozen solid. Where did that <laughs> extra large rock come? <laughs> <laughs> what in the bloody hell was that? I peek out of the door. Uh, the you attic. notice that um, the rubble that you saw towards the southern end now has a very large gap in it. In situations like these, we could easily send out these guys first. Just seeing. Said the rock in the corner. <laughs> Well, Da Vinci style. Just a boulder moving along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These aren't like your goblin friends back home. They're not. I can't guarantee they're expendable. Uh, well, somebody has to go out there. I would like to be sneakily skirt around the edge of the room so I can peek around the next hole. So you're going to like go to that hole and you're gonna see what's yeah, behind it? But go around like follow the wall of the room. Okay. To try and be safe. But sneaky like. Alright. Um do -do. As you venture forward towards that hole, something speeds towards you. And from the water, from the direction of the hole. This, this large creature, snapping its jaws, filled with a myriad of teeth, just snaps at you, and is just speeding in your direction. What do you do? Uh, I would like to cast Blink, please. Okay. <laughs> um, because I don't want to be there right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um, I don't want to be on the material plane in this moment, thank you. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, what's that? On plane. So I'd like to run vaguely as I'm casting this one towards the original tunnel, so the one to the west, because okay. it's dry, and. Let's hope I roll a level or higher so I can actually disappear. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's a four. Hmm. Wait, so this blink does not work then in that case? Yeah, yeah so it, it lasts yeah, for a minute. Thought. So at the end of each of your turns, mm -hmm. you uh, roll d20. <clears throat> if it's a level or higher, you go poof. If it's not, you uh, you don't. Gotcha. Uh, uh, at this point... Not... I'd also like to play this thing. Just, I'm just going like, I want out of here. So you're running. Uh, like, do you... Any of you watching as uh, this is all going down? Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Um, splash, yeah. splash, splash. I'm watching this, yes. You see this, like, large crocodile-type creature, but the top of its back and its tail, the scales are bright blue and slightly giving off, like, this, like, aura of just magical blue, like, blue smoke almost. It opens its mouth, and you can see like the crackle of lightning coming out of its mm. com com coming out of its throat, as it is going to attempt to mm. I've probably run quite a distance because my walking speed is fifty feet at the moment. Yeah, but his swimming speed is like ninety, so and he's, oh. he's fucking swimming, dude. He's fucking <laughs> but, but I'm out of the water, surely. If we're going west. That, I guess that circular room is pretty waterlogged. Yeah, like, uh, the thing is as well, this would probably, would probably count, count as difficult terrain. terrain because you're, you're wasting oh, water. Yeah. So 25 feet. <laughs> so it speeds towards you and it's going to try yeah. and hit you with its thunderous sweep. Uh, um, no, not allowed. Oh, okay, my bad. Um, <laughs> cool. Uh, I need to make a dexterity saving throw. I think you have disadvantage because of difficult terrain, but I'm not too sure. I'm quickly look that up for you. So that's a natural 20. Mm, and I hope for your sake that it's not <laughs> disadvantage, but I think it might be. Um... Mm -mm -mm. 
difficult terrain. No, it's just movement. Move half speed. Okay, yeah, never mind. Um, so in that case, you um, take only half damage. You do still take damage, though. That's the As... worst news. <laughs> Sorry! This one is still like 25 damage, even when it's half and I'm out. Uh, 6, 10... Okay. You take uh, 5 points of slashing damage. I'm um, only halving it. And 1 point of thunder damage. Um, so 6 points of damage total. Uh, and I, at this point, I would like you all to roll initiative, as this large, just lightning crocodile is having a field lightning day crocodile. with uh, with with your uh, your friend. Before I roll, I have a question I never thought about with attuned items. Mm -hmm. Even though I never unattuned and it left my possession, am I still? Uh, I'd say you're still attuned, William. Okay, wanted to be sure. Ooh. And Blink is still active. Thank God for that. Okay. Yep. A bonus to most things. Uh, well, that's um, that, that's a great initiative right there. Oh God, is it is it bad? Mine's dreadful. I could not have done any worse. Nice. All right. Uh, anyone twenty plus? Twenty-one. Twenty plus. Twenty-one. Nice. I got two. Yeah, twenty-one for. Okay. 15 to 20? 10 to 15? 13. Oh, you dingus. 13 for Brech. 5 to 10? Uh, 6. Ow. A plus 3. Uh, what did you roll? 104. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Natural 1. Oh. Hey. Nice. Uh, same. Nice. You're up first, as uh, about 40 feet away from you at this point, you can see this large, like, lightning crocodile, essentially, is the best way of describing it. This this, this tempest beast, uh, just wailing on Janus. What do you do? Okay, yeah, no, I'm not a big fan of that, I'll be totally honest with you. Uh... What am I going to do? Is it? I have an idea that'd be great if it works, but <laughs> but it is also relying on a having low strength. But you know what? We're gonna run up there with my spear and give it a good old stab. Quickly see oh. if you can reach it. Uh, you're a Water Ganassi, do you have some kind of weird, funky, like, water speed stat that I should know about? It's got swimming speed, I think. Do what? I do have a 35 swim speed. Mm -hmm. Water Ganassi has a swim speed, and then also my ranger, uh, one of my ranger optional features gives me a swim speed anyway, so. Yeah, so 35 swimming uh, will get you at about 5 feet, like, just over 5 feet away, because he's 40 and you went 35. But uh, I'm pretty sure Spear has okay, a Spear can reach that, right? Directly. No, Pike is the one with extra range. Uh, get fucked. So you're yeah, just no, out of spear melee. You're just reach. out of melee with it in that case. Just out of melee, but just I just out of melee. Leave my gathering swarm. Uh, I don't know. We have a look for you. Hey, so love each it of, you. Each, uh, once on each of your turns, you can use the to assist you in one of the following ways immediately after you hit a creature after with you hit a creature with an attack exactly so I'm gonna chuck my spear in that game yeah absolutely I'm gonna run close I'm you can definitely do that I don't even love checking the water when it's safe and then not checking it when it's not yeah I mean it seems that this creature uh, was the uh, creature that they briefly spoke of when they mentioned you know sound coming from beyond the final layer of rubble that they had to break through also, I was wrong. Blink is not a concentration spell. Oh, all right. That's helpful. Okay, so that's going to be um, 21 to hit. That hits. Okay, so first let's do a bit of damage. Um, You know what? This thing is this scary. I'm going to mark it as my favorite foe. Go for it. <clears throat> Absolutely. New rangers, baby. They're actually 
useful in combat. It's crazy. <laughs> so that's. Not a great hit, to be totally honest. That's going to be uh, seven points of, of piercing damage. And I need Mr. Thunder Crocodile Beast to make a strength. Thirteen. DC is four. Oh, he fails then. All right. So the crocodile is going to be sent 15 feet back the opposite direction of Janet. Okay. 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 Absolutely. Cool. So he gets pushed back 15 feet. <clears throat> Anything else? And there was actually a bonus. There was a bonus. Bonus action I was thinking of. Activate your swarm. That was my swarm. <laughs> that was my swarm was the push him back 15 feet. Oh, is that just tapping when you hit someone? Yeah, it's just Ooh. once in each of your turns, you can cause the swarm to assist you in one of the following ways. Oh, okay. And, Does it, and that's... Happens. Even if it's, like, big? Even if it's a big boy? Is it not affected uh... by the size of the bow? It does not specify a size. The oh. attack. Sheesh. Yeah. The same with lightning lure. You could do the same thing. Pull it 50 feet towards you. I fucking love that spell. <laughs> Underrated spell. So, bonus action or not? Actually, yeah. You know, just in case, I'm going to cast. I will actually bonus action. I'm going to... Because you just got bitten by that thing, right? Uh, Not bitten, but uh, kind of just like... Just or thrashed sweat, towards... Shots. Uh, mm. Janice and did some did some lightning, did some thunder shit, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do a very quick little bit of magic, and I'm going to cast Healing Spirit to make a kind of like little dolphin uh, see-through spirit thing appear in uh, Janice's space. Okay. No, wait. I take that back. I can't do that because it's concentration. I'm concentrating on my favorite foe. Never mind. Uh, okay, fair enough. Redacted. Is that your turn then? Sorry, in that no case? healing spirit. That'll be my turn. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, yeah, you've caught its attention as this Tempest Beast is now locked in on you and is going to just dart to you through the water, swimming very fast. Uh, I need to see if he gets his um, thingamajiggy back, his uh, thunder sweep. Let's see if he gets that back. He does not. So instead, he's going to just multi-attack you. Uh, he's going to bite at you first, and then he's going to try and use one of his claws to swipe at you. So for the bite, that is fun. a 12 to hit you, Sam? Nope, it does not hit. All right, and then for the claw, is a 16 to hit? That'll do it. Okay, so you you just look kind of like push away from, from the bite attack, but then kind of push yourself into the direction of where the claw is coming from, not seeing that coming, and just <laughs> swipes you across your face. Uh, for a total of eight points of slashing damage. Okay. And that's its turn. Oh. Yes. Uh, how far away are we? Am I from um, Tempest or Beast? 35 feet. Because that is okay. the amount of distance. Um, same covered and same is now in melee with uh, Beast. Cool. Then I'm uh, back up a little bit. Um, 25 feet. Okay. Um, and then do a Sacred Flame. So I am requiring a Dexterity Saving Throw. Uh, that's a natural 19. Oh, that's high enough. Uh, so that leaves me with not doing a lot. <laughs> Is that everything you, you're going to do? Yeah, for now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lame. All right. Um, Gumir. Now, I, I hid. You did hide. I, like, really hid. So He does not know that you are there. Correct. And he's about 35 feet away? Yes. So, with my reach of 10 feet, mm -hmm. I can 
in the shadows, scurry 30 feet, and then sneak attack it with my longsword. Absolutely, yes, you can. Okay, I will do just that. Um, trying to stay sort of out of his line of sight as he's focusing on same. Mm-hmm. I will uh, lunge from the shadows with my longsword. Go for it. And fuck him up. Uh, oh my god. Uh, 23 to hit. 23 hits, yes. Uh, and I will make it a uh, menacing attack? Question mark? DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Uh, 13. Oh, so he's now, he's frightened of me. Okay. And this is going to do 2d8 plus 4d6 damage. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Oh my God. Okay. So 14 on the d8s. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, 30 points of slashing damage from the shadows, and he is um, frightened of me. This is the first time it takes melee damage, because same yep. through a spear, and Janus said fuck all. Um, as you impact oh. and thrust, your, your make impact with your longsword, mm-hmm. you can see that it, the entire body of this beast starts to just zap your sword and lightning travels uh, uh, along the blade and zaps you uh, you take uh... oh and you are partially submerged in water so instead of 2d6 That's... you take 3d6 worth of lightning damage. fuck him dude i'm invincible uh man that was terrible for a total of six points on 3d6 a total of six points of lightning damage okay oh. um I'm going to hit him again with the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah, go for it. No, I'm guessing, you know, this doesn't count as a sneak attack, right? I mean, uh, I, I think sneak attack, on, no, sneak attack only happens first attack on, on its own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, all right, so yeah, I'm just swinging with my wall hammer. Go for it. Am I flanking? Because um, I came out behind him. Does that count for something like a creature like this? Uh, how, um, he's pretty big. And how much movement speed do you have? 30 movement speed, wait, yes, 30 walking speed, but, or 30 feet, and a uh, reach of 10 feet, so I don't have to move quite as close. Uh, then you will definitely not be flanking. Okay, so that is uh, 11 to hit. 11 does not hit, unfortunately. Got Second swing, you with the hot water hammer, and you just sploosh into the water, not striking your foe. Honestly, it's a mercy. I don't get zapped again. So yeah, true. Fine. True to true. Is that your turn? All right, that's my turn, yep. Janus. Oh, Okay. So you said it looked a bit magical. Uh, Is it a magical creature? I wouldn't say it looks magical. It just seems to have innate lightning, lightning slash thunder ability. So you don't know whether it is Damn it. magical or more of the elemental kind. You're not sure. Oh, on that note, I would just like to add, because it's a plus one longsword, it's a magic weapon. So if it has like, yeah, okay. It's good to know. Hmm. Yeah, you don't know the source of this 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 creature's lightning abilities. You don't know whether it's magic or just an 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 an, 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 an innate. There we go. Got it out of my fucking throat. Uh, elemental type creature. You're not sure, but fuck around and find out, I guess. Also, it helps if you read your class features and realize you can cast do a cantrip and melee attack on one turn as a blade singer. <laughs> yeah, that might mm. help. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, you know, this first time playing this character, you know. <laughs> yeah, you start level six, there's a lot, and as wizards, there's even more. And yeah, like, exactly, ah. exactly. Uh, so do I. Yeah, fuck it, why not? I am going to move back in. I'm going to go to a flanking position. Okay. With a walking speed of 50 feet, 25 half, should be able to, yeah, I yeah. think. Um, you were already like in the thick of it there, pretty much. So. Boom and blade to start with. For a natural 20. Does that count as a melee attack? 
Yes. Okay. Good but there was already a melee attack. Yeah, so a boom blade is you hit them with a melee attack, and then the boom okay, blade applies. Just good to know, because I, 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 I need to know if it's melee attacks because of yeah. something that you've yes, previously sorry. seen. Indeed. Um, so to start with, there's the weapon damage. Mm -hmm. Which is seven piercing damage. Seven piercing. And then I need one of these dice. One thunder damage. One thunder damage? <laughs> Which may or may not do anything. Mm -hmm. um, and if he moves, he'll take more. And then I'll just stabby stabby him again because I can. Uh, well, Should okay. Be... Well, uh, hold on with that. Um, because as you strike him at him the first time, Damn again, there's just shot. This this zap of, of of electricity just shocks you as you uh, as you stab him. Uh, you are partially submerged, so you take oh, thirteen points of uh, lightning damage. Do you proceed to stab him again, <laughs> <laughs> or is uh, or does Janus maybe reconsider now that you've just got the fucking shit zapped out of him? Yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah, fuck it, I'm booking it. You booking it? Yeah, okay. to, to, to a somewhat drier location. No, yeah, your best bet would be like straight north, just towards the wall, uh, pretty much, because as you get you know closer to the edge of the chamber, the less and less water you're in. Okay, is that your turn? Don't forget your blink. Yeah, I was just saying if I didn't do beforehand. I don't blink. What a useful spell. <laughs> I roll a natural 20. And I don't blink. Oh, that's when it was a natural 20. How much piercing damage did I do? Can you remember? Or oh, I just roll another dice. Wait, did you roll natural 20 for your attack? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, I, I have actually written down. You dealt 7 piercing, 1 thunder. Uh, so that would be... An extra four piercing. Okay. Because you double your dice, don't you, rather than roll yeah. four dice? Yeah, yeah, you double your dice. But rolling more dice is fun. Uh, and does the fun uh, equalize stuff to a more middle ground rather than other stuff? But yeah. would the boom and blade get it as well? Any dice, any dice roll. Yeah. So that'd be an extra one thunder as well. Okay. Alrighty, good to know. And then yes, I. Bravely run away. Bravely run away, alright. Uh, or limp. Back to you. Crawl. Like d dog paddle, just kind of. No more. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, Wait. Yeah, so same. Were... Back to you. There's a lot of red on the f in the water. Mm. As you know, it was lightning. You, uh, you've noticed that every time this creature got hit with a melee attack, it just kind of emitted this reaction of just sh just sending out lightning to whatever hit it. Uh, you've noticed that. You've picked it up twice now, when both uh, Janus yeah. and... Uh, Wait, did Obtika turn? Am I crazy? Yeah, he did, right? Because he tried to fucking take a flame and fucked it up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 yeah, I felt like a bit on, but... <laughs> uh, so it's back the same. Okay, so I have a question with favored foe. Aye. It says uh, the first time on each of on the first time on each of my turns that I hit the favored enemy and deal damage to it, that's when I do the extra damage. Correct. Does that hit need to be an attack roll, or can it be anything that requires? A, can it be a spell? I mean, with a what's save the wording roll? when you hit it? Hit with an attack roll. The first time. Well, it doesn't say attack roll. It says the first time on each of your turns that you hit the enemy and deal damage to it. Then it doesn't have to be with an attack roll. Uh, if it takes damage, you get the favored foe. So yeah, when you hit it, so it'd be yeah. uh, I guess an attack roll to hit of any well, sort. I don't know because yeah, you, rather than the first time you damage it, it's the first time you hit it. That's weird because I, like I would so consider... above it, it huh? So above it, when you start, it says when you hit a creature with an attack roll, you can then mark it. Oh. And then the next paragraph is the first time each turns you hit it and deal damage to it, you deal extra damage. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say on. that Janit's a. Yeah, that's weird. Why would they use? I'm two gonna look up the wording of Hunter's Mark and see what the, see if there's any difference because Hunter's Mark is definitely only weapon attacks, right? Yeah. Uh, it's weird that see. it would. Spe uh... See, Hunter's Mark specifies whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. Like that is the wording of Hunter's Mark. Yeah, uh, the first time you two turns, you hit your favorite enemy and deal damage to it. I would say, okay, well, technically, right? If you cast a spell and it involves a saving throw, but he fails and you still damage it, you still hit him with the spell, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I would say yeah. it doesn't need to be an attack. Uh, yeah, because it, 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 the given that the wording for Hunter's Mark specifies yeah. when you hit it with an attack roll and it doesn't. So I'll say then... you don't need to roll an attack if it's a spell or anything, as long as it damages, you're good. Al? Hello? <laughs> oh, your mic did like a big, your, your like connection did a big dude there. Avoid being zapped. Did not hear a single thing. But that might be worth it to avoid getting electric. I think it's more the lag. Wait, yeah, what? To be honest. Nice timing. Yeah, you, you were completely like gone for a second, so I did not hear a single thing about what you wanted to do. Oh, I was just, uh, just thinking about uh, possibilities. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast... Uh, my little cantrip here, Frostbite. Okay. So I just do a little magic -y hand gesture. Uh, frost starts to form on the creature and has to make a constitution saving. Con save, all right. Uh, 14. Dang, that's enough. So it is not affected by the ice at all. Mm-hmm. And that is uh, very sad. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so looking at my bonus actions, maybe there's something I still have I can do here? No, <laughs> not unless I want to lose favored foe. How do you favored foe? Why must you take concentration? It's I'm just going to ready up my, my shield and be like, okay, come at me. <laughs> very okay. hesitant, come at me. All right. The Tempest Beast, I'm going to have to check to see if he gets his fucking shit back. He does not. So he is going to uh, multi-attack. He's going to bite at you, same. And he's going to try and swipe his claw at uh, Gomir. So the bite attack on same would be at uh, a natural three. So that's not going to fucking hit. Um, the claw attack on Gomir is a natural two. So <laughs> eat shit. I guess. Brech. Can I get a... Yeah? Saving throw? <laughs> Deck save? Yeah. I want to see if this fucking beast has problems with any radiant damage before I uh, go big on it. Match it or four. For a nice. total of six. That is not enough. So that's ten... No, 14 radiant damage. 14 points of radiant damage. Woo! He's starting to look pretty fucking rough. Nice. All right. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Okay. Come near. Easy. Wait, what did... Oh, he missed. Did you roll with disadvantage for his attacks? Because of his frightened? Oh, I didn't. No, but he, he missed anyway. Was... He missed anyway, yeah. yeah. I was just, just wondering. Uh... Pfft. Wait, is it my turn? Shit. Yes, it is. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> what do I want to do? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to melee attack it, but he, he hasn't used his reaction this turn, has he? Uh, correct. Wait. Does he use his reaction to do that? No. No, I'm just... No, he's gonna... Oh, okay, right. I, I want to move oh, away. Opportunity. Okay, right, yeah. So I'm going to use... I'm going to disengage as a bonus action. Um, okay, I'm uh, gonna help you out here. Uh, never mind, never mind. No, he moved towards you because you went to hit you. Never mind, never mind, never mind. He hit you. Sorry, never mind. Carry on. Um. Fuck. Javelins? No, I have th I have I have throwing axes, but I don't get like quick toss as a bonus action. But nah, fuck it. I'll, I'm just gonna disengage as a bonus action, move away, and okay. uh, throw a hand axe. Um, um, you'll get sneak attack because it is in melee with uh, one of your boys. I will get sneak attack. Mm. Which, 
Yeah, okay. Which is an advantage, right? But you do get the extra damage. But I do get the extra damage. If you oh. hit. Which I don't, because it's natural too. So... Ooh, nice. Uh, my second hand axe soars to the back of the cave. Mm. Um, and that's my turn. <laughs> Unfortunate. All right. Um, Janice, you're up. Uh, right. Let's go for that. Let's make... Uh, what to go for? Because who doesn't like a poor man's fireball? I don't know. Never mind. Um, a small four-inch diameter sphere of fire hits the wall behind the guy. Because natural some freeze of the, are... Like, um... Some of the, like, rubble just kind of... Man, it's uh, some, some, some dreadful yeah, you fucking can, uh, uh, rolls, huh? And a lot of use out of this blink as well. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I would like to continue trying to get somewhere. Try. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll, at this point, you'll make it to, like, the, the, like, le the edge of the room and, uh, are no longer in, in the water. Uh, with that, cool. we go back to the top of the initiative. Uh, same. Okay, so, it appears to just be a weirdly elemental monster, but I'm curious, nonetheless, that with a free action, I'm just gonna be, like, in primordial... In primordial. <laughs> mm. uh, you cut off after in primordial. So could you could you repeat that? Oh, I just yeah, I just I, I wanted to see if this thing is elemental. So I'm just gonna talk to it in primordial as a free action. Do you understand me? Hmm. It's not seem to. Nah. No. No. Okay then. So, completely certain. Primal Savagery, Acid Claw. Go for it. Oh, you're going to get zapped, though. He do be, he, yeah, I mean, yeah. Right, Zap those. Oh, I'm going to get zapped. Yeah. But I might kill yeah. it, so. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's uh, above a 20. That's above a 20. Yes. <laughs> that's a lot of hit. And that that's going to be uh, my... Acid damage, so acid damage, favorite foe, and I'm also gonna throw in the the swarm keeper damage. Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Fuck yeah. myself. Okay, so that's thirteen acid damage and three piercing damage. Yeah, he's not looking so good, but you do get zapped, and because you're partially submerged, but... take extra damage. So as you hit it again, it's just like wave of electricity just immediately just zaps you as a punishment for uh, for hitting it. Uh, using eight points of lightning damage. Um, is that your turn? Turn, yeah. I'm okay. still staying here, uh, basically. I'm gonna have to see if this Tempest Beast gets his ability back, which he does. So with that, he's going to target you, same, with his Thunderous Sweep. I need you to make a Dexterity saving throw. Okay, I can... I'm decent at those. I have said that, now I'm gonna fail. <laughs> oh, maybe not. It's 18 uh, dexterity. Though. 18. Okay, so you make the save, so you take half damage. So you take uh, four points of slashing damage and two points of lightning damage. Or thunder damage, sorry. And that is its turn. Brech! Yes! Up to you, my um, friend. He's not looking too well. Nah, he's, uh, he's looking uh, very, very, very bloodied. I'm gonna blast two Eldritch Blasts at him. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, so let's see if they hit. I think so. Uh, does it 24 hit? Yeah. yeah hit. Then they both hit. So that is uh, 13 force damage. 13 points of force damage? Yeah. All right. It's not dead. It's not not dead. Oh, damn it. All right. Sorry. That's all right. With that, we go to our bugbear friend. Come here. Uh, I don't have any other hand axes to throw. Um, shit. Can I, can I, if I throw a weapon that does, no, if I throw a weapon that doesn't have the thrown thing, that's just a bad idea, right? Like Pretty much, I, yeah, you'll do, uh, if, yeah. If, even if it hits, you'll do fuck all damage. Would you have been able to get your throwing axe back that you chucked in that one guy's back, or is it gone? I didn't grab it. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to uh, grab it. Yeah. Oh, fuck it, dude. I'm gonna just, <laughs> I'm gonna just run and fucking shank him. I'll take, I'll take the damage. I'll take the 3d6 damage. I'm not scared. What, I look like a little, a little, a little bitch. Yeah. Can okay. I flank this big boy? Uh, yeah. Yes, All you right. can, but you're gonna have to, like, go, uh, yeah, splush, 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 yeah. yeah, fuck it. I'll take all the fucking help I can get. That is a 22 to hit. That hits. Roll damage. And you get sneak attack because uh, same is in uh, melee with it. How... What big bads can we be expecting? I'm not going to use another. I'm not using another superiority dice. So it's going to be 1d8 plus 2d6. Mm-hmm. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Uh, 12, 15 points of damage. And as you plunge your... What were you using? Longsword. Your longsword, oh. just like, into it, this, this creature's back. Shattered. It lets out one final just surge of lightning, hitting both same and you, because you're both in melee with it this time, for eight points oh. of lightning damage. And with eight that, points. the crackling lightning from his mouth fades, and it just... <laughs> Slumps into the water, not moving. <laughs> just for just for everyone's well, mostly for Hunter's sake. Do you <laughs> manage to blink at the end of combat for <laughs> once? <laughs> Maybe. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you never even cast it. My spell, dude. Um, Pretty much. I want to go why? in the direction I threw that other hand axe, and I want to try and retrieve it. From oh, the, make a fucking investigation the check, because there's mm, a lot of water. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Now that he's looking for his hand axe, I would like to retrieve six yeah. <laughs> Ten. Ten? Come on, come on. DC, DC uh, ten. DC ten. Donate five pounds to charity to change the DC. I mean, listen, dude, you're in a giant fucking chamber, and majority of it is filled with. Hey, do you uh, listen? Do you the, the, I, I, I threw the axe. Feel okay. Like 10 is a little low. Mm, do you want, uh, really? I, Could I have, I have two of my daggers here? You can throw those. Would uh, the average Joe succeed this task half of the time? No. Yeah, they would. No, they Come wouldn't. On. If they threw and the axe and they saw where it went, they're like, I know it's roughly in that direction. I'm just going to go through the water with my hand and... <laughs> you know? You don't find your hand next. I'm still... <laughs> I, I do. Do you want, uh, do you want some of my daggers? <laughs> I have two daggers. I you take the fucking those. daggers. I take Does the my... daggers. <laughs> the oh, hang on. Uh, you need to take him with the right uh, side. If you just grab him now, you grab him by the blade, you idiot. I grab his wrist. <laughs> and I take the dagger out of his hand. <laughs> and I put it under my belt. Ah, it was minor illusion. Was it? <clears throat> was it actually? Was it actually? <laughs> no. Oh, was, so oh you're gonna get beaten. Oh, you're gonna get beaten. <laughs> you're gonna get eaten. <laughs> Okay. I, I grab your, I get my, my, my spear that I chucked into it. 
Uh, well, your spear, like, actually hit, right? So that should still be, like, sticking into the yeah. creature. So yes, I'll say you can get that back. Um, <laughs> okay. any, any healers? Hmm. Um, yes. I could do with a little pick-me-up. Um... Heroes! Uh, two d sixes. First four. Fuck what's Hunter's character call again? Janus. 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 Jan six, Janus. Eight, eight <laughs> to you. How much? And sorry? six. Two d six. End up throwing six. And Bugbeer friend gets seven. We take more healers here. Say no, how are you? I, uh, I'm just thinking about because I need to heal. Do some healing, but I need to heal myself too. Oh, go ahead, uh, heal yourself. And uh, then uh, I can heal a little bit more, but not, not a whole lot anymore. Uh, but that's about it. How's he in spirit work again? I don't know how long we can rest here. Yes, that's also an option, but that would be a fucking shonda of uh, what I just did uh, a little bit, you know? <laughs> I, I mean, I can't kill and arrest like anyway. If, if you're going to ask for someone to heal you, then don't be like, uh, yo, we could uh, sleep here as well, doesn't really matter. That's why I said I don't know how long we can rest here. Yeah, you right? said that ever I... I don't know how long we can rest here. I it's down to the big man in the sky who says I can't find my axe. <laughs> <laughs> and if we do rest here, I got no dice, so I'm going to go looking for my axe. <laughs> you cannot rest here. Silly, silly bugbear man. Have have eight points of healing. Oh, that ooh, it puts me up to max out. See? Although I, <laughs> Although I think maybe a wizard I'm man still needed more than I. I'll give uh, I'll give one more to uh, oh. <laughs> that's one HP. <laughs> <laughs> oh yay! Is that to me? Fuck. Oh, yep. I'll give. Still under half health. Okay, you're, you said you're below. I'm 13 out of 29. Oh boy, he's so bloodied. Okay, just just give me a moment here. Just give me a second. I mean, if he just spirit were cast and we all went through it once every six seconds, we would all get healed. Okay, for a 13, 13 health, Janus. Woo! I'm back to where I was at the beginning of the fight. See, all you had to do was bitch about it, Hunter. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's uh, move on. I don't have uh, all the whole yep. day. Okay, so what you see as you... I'm assuming you're going to enter through the hole in the rubble. No, I was going to join the two guys in the room. And just... I mean, you can do that too, sure. <laughs> rubble room. You uh, stumble through the rubble and stagnant water. You find yourself in a large man-made chamber. The walls are lined with a fresco that depicts humans riding giant sharks across breaking tsunamis. Hanging on the walls are various weapons and shields that must have belonged to the original inhabitants of this place. Strewn within the room are toppled and broken statues lying lower than the rest of the room, covered in a myriad of barnacles. Um, Any hand axes? Standing javelins? guard and blocking cool. the back of the room behind an altar <laughs> is a mural depicting a giant wave that seems to come crashing into this room. Um, you looking for hand axes? Any thrown weapons on these things on the side? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, these mainly are, like, swords and shields. No, like, small thrown uh, weapons, unfortunately. Uh, any of you the religious type? Uh, I am proficient in religion. Uh, Make a religion check for me. Uh, same. I have a solid minus one. So religion. Those who are proficient in religion, make a religion check, please. 
19. 19? Yo, same. Also 19. Um, you both uh, notice that these frescoes on the wall um, are connected to a cult. The cult of the crushing wave. Um, <clears throat> what this cult was, and that what you know, is that uh, they worshipped someone or something called uh, Olhydra. Which is this this giant water beast, um, one of the four princes of elemental evil, uh, primordial powers of the elemental planes, tainted by pure evil. Olhydra, the prince of evil water, and delights in creating dangerous manifestations of elemental water, like maelstroms. And what she what what he can drown. He patiently erodes over time, like the tides retreating, just to be stronger than before. Well. So, uh, what is probably going to be bad here? I just look at same. <laughs> As in, try to kill us, that kind of thing. <laughs> just kind of gulps nervously. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you'll just can be slowly I, uh... rated over time. We're going to be drowned. Can I hide? Make a stealth check. Can I just make myself scarce at the edge of the room? <clears throat> That's an 11. Um... <laughs> My mage hand is now going to be perpetually 30 feet in front of me. Okay. Um, so yeah, like I said, is there anything at all that I? Uh, sorry, no, okay. I was gonna say, is there anything at all that I could pick up with my ridiculous passive perception? Um, I'll say because your passive perception is so fucking ridiculously high, <laughs> um, <clears throat> you you feel drawn to go check out that mural that I described uh, from a little closer. But before anything else happens, I want you to make an investigation check, though. Once you do get to the mural and start looking at it. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm really, really good at that. That's a good roll. Uh, se 17? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you find a small button behind one of the shells on this mural. Button, button, Is it water around here? Sorry? Are we still in water? Absolutely. Can I climb out of the water in any way? Uh, let me look for you. Like onto a pedestal or You something can climb like on top of some of the rubble, yeah. I'm getting out of water. Okay. Um... Submerged like a crocodile, just my eyes <laughs> and nose poking up. Although um, my um, stealth is only an 11, but I'm doing my best. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, Sam, you find a button. Do you push said button? Not immediately. Okay. <laughs> Takes a while. I'm very suspicious of the button. <laughs> I mean, is there anything immediately? Do we see any other. It's a hidden button. I mean, you got to push the hidden button, right? Like, what could ever go wrong from pushing a hidden button? <laughs> nothing has ever, nothing bad has ever happened from pushing a hidden button, right? Don't focus on what could go wrong. Focus on what could go right. Okay. All the wrong things happen <laughs> with the big red buttons that say "Don't push this." Right, but a hidden button is stuff like call the police. Um, yeah, open which is a the good secret thing. door. Uh, you know open what? The your logic, door your, in your the logic. Floor. I mean, I can push it with. Your uh, logic is hand. undeniable. Uh, hang on. Hi. Cast detect magic. Because I can. Okay. Um. Your magic doesn't pick anything up in this room. So, if the button 
I like, don't, uh, I don't detect, uh, not, uh, not magic. I don't detect any magic uh, in here. So, uh, as uh, the pussycat dolls would say, uh, push the button. As, <laughs> as the chemical brothers would see, <laughs> push the button. Push the button. I hit everything. I'm. You know what? Their logic works. I'm gonna push the button. <laughs> you push the button. World. Yeah, they, time has come to push the button. As you push the button, Terrible. a uh, door hidden behind this like large mural. Um, not a door. Uh, swings open, uh, revealing dear gods. Revealing Ooh. just like this entire like hidden room, um, which if you look into. Uh, it reveals a chamber devoid of furnishings or decoration. Rising from the center of the room is an enormous conch shell of vibrant pinks and blues. Um, the opening of the shell is large enough for a human to enter and is engraved with flowing motifs. Motifs? Motifs. Motifs. Growing around the base of the conch are handfuls of blue crystals that glow with a pale blue light shimmering off the walls and ceiling. With the rippling water and dancing lights, the whole cave seems submerged. Magic conch? Will I ever get married? <laughs> yeah, send a mage hand into the conch. That sounds... <laughs> <laughs> and then just wiggle it around in there. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look up a technicality here real quick. Shove me hand in the conch. Uh, it's not funny at all, is it? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, as your mage hand <laughs> goes, like you're you're going into the conch. Yep. Slipping in and out of conch. <laughs> Stop. Out of consciousness. Um, dude, your mage hand is about to trigger so many fucking traps, it's unreal. Uh, <laughs> Better than me. Uh, first, the uh, as your mage hand enters, it triggers a trap and it's just causing the entire room to start swirling and it's almost like you're in this like maelstrom with the waters going back and forth and going going in circular motion then the door to the vault slams shut emitting a thunderous boom oh we're on some sea of thieves shit now uh, <laughs> so is that a door that we just opened yes the ones that we're still on the safe side did you, did you, did you, did, no, the... did people enter <laughs> Oh, I absolutely I mean, did not. No. I don't think anyone specified that they answered, no. right? Okay. No. With no, that, I said the mage hand to that trigger all the traps. Slam shut. Fine. That's Does all you need. still work? See. Cool. Does the button still work? Do you try? Yeah. yeah, sure. Nope. I'm going to push the button again. Just like. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just the door slams shut, and all we hear on the other side is like. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm more disappointed that we can't see any of this. But anything. Well, on the plus side, we know there's a trap in there. Oh. Do you see any other doors in the chamber? Do you see any other doors in the chamber? No. Yeah, the, when, when we saw, like, the conch and everything? No. I'm just gonna keep fucking pushing the button like I'm calling an <laughs> elevator. I don't know. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay. With that, the door doesn't swing open again. But mm. anyone here proficient in Arcana? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You take a closer look in the room around you and you see that 
Um, yeah, what do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Mm. Okay. This blue crystalline disc appears in the wall besides the the door that you had opened and then got slammed shut again. Um, the blue disc also has a message that suddenly appears above it, reading, All who oppose the dark tide will drown. And as the bugbear just keeps pushing the button, eventually you see the disc kind of breaks and opens, and there's this fluorescent blue, uh, like, pretty thick, almost like a paint inside. And you notice that there's lines appearing on the, uh, on the, uh, vault door. Make an Arcana check. If anyone here is proficient in Arcana, which I think is, uh, Oh, natural. 13. Natural 20? Yep. Okay. Uh, DC was 20. So, well, 23. You have seen uh, things like this before. Uh, this, 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 this substance that's got revealed to you is <clears throat> some kind of um, liquefied key mechanism. That you have to basically take that, take that, that, that goop, and follow the line on the door with it, and kind of like draw, draw the shape that the line is has revealed it to you. Okay, but the goop key is high up somewhere, right? I can't. Reach no, no, that, it's or... it's it's next to. Uh, it revealed to be next to oh. the, the vault door. So you can, you can, was... you can reach it. Okay. Um... Uh, I, I think I know what to do uh, with this. Uh, 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 maybe I can open it again. Have the explosion I... stuff. I'll lead the way. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a try. And I'll uh, grab the goop. And I'll try and follow grab the, the lines. Okay. Grab the hope. And what you draw is a large X on the door, <laughs> and oh. the bottom two like like and, and and like a like a horizontal line connecting the bottom two uh, thingies. So you basically like an hourglass without the top bit, essentially. Hmm. Uh, which you also know a happens room. to be um, the the insignia of the cults of the crushing wave, the cult worshiping this this evil uh, the cult of the crushing wave. water elemental prince. Uh, but doing that, I would like for you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Oof. <laughs> uh, eight. Eight? Yes. This this sharp pain kind of enters your head. Does it head. count as a spell or not? No. Okay. This, this sharp pain enters your head, and you can see the hand with which you've drawn... The uh, the the em the emblem, the insignia, is beginning to kind of dry, and the skin around your fingers just gets drier and drier to the point where it's literally just skin over bone and nothing else. Ooh. And you can just kind of feel this 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 presence in the back of your head now. You feel like something's watching you. You feel like something's noticed you, and is trying to trying to not necessarily take control but definitely trying to hitch a ride is the uh, is the door opening the door is opening after you do that oh, worth it um, um i don't know who's uh, trying to get into my head but i kind of already have a deal with uh, some uh, sort of deity and I don't think they are going to be very friendly about uh, what you're doing. So uh, please stop. Thank you. There is not much room in there. 
Well, I get Mage Hand. I sent it to the Conch. At this point, Mage Hand has triggered every fucking trap in the book, and uh, the Conch shell seems. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. Seems good. <laughs> Can I get a closer look at the Conch shell? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's definitely large enough for you to like go into if you were so inclined. Am I so inclined? I'm not. A... Yeah. Uh, I mean, okay. What there else is in this be room? Treasure inside. Yeah, what else is in this room? We've got a big conch shell. We've got blue crystals around its base. But is it really? Is it just a chamber with nothing but the conch shell in it? Um, as far as you can tell, yeah. Does the conch shell feel solid? Like, could it be picked up? Could it be pushed or moved? Um. No, it's too big. It's it's, it's big enough for it, me to get inside it, so I yeah. guess it's pretty big. Uh, we should go back for the other two and push them in here. What? Wh why? Because I don't want to climb in and die. But I do really want to climb in. I can send this in first if you want to. And the mage hand is just waving at you. <laughs> But if there's something interesting in there, we won't know it from the mage hand. Yeah, that's where you what go. What if it disappears? Behind it. All right. Send it in first. I'll climb I... on in behind. I slowly have it go around the conch shell again. Okay. The mage hand goes okay. in, but as you make the like motion of, of getting in, the door... Now that you're all in the room, right? Let me just quickly check. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Yeah, we're in the room. Uh, the door. And the water again starts to swirl. As from under the water rises Piska, his red haired oh! Triton. This time seen wearing uh, this like black pearl crown. I'm afraid the biggest treasure in that conch rests on my head now. I can finally join <laughs> Prince Don't of Evil say Water. It. I'm really tempted to do something. I can't just, I can't get over, I can't get over the fact that you know, the Mei-chan went in and the door closed and she probably popped up and was like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and then just goes back under and waits. Um, no, um, it was the, the, the motion of one of you making a gesture to go in. She kind of like swirls up and it's kind of like floating. Like there's like a little, there's like a little like a uh, whirlpool kind of like attached to her legs, just kind of carrying her through the room. Um, took me a little while to get access to this room, but uh, you know, some, uh, some, some, take some prisoners that are looking for treasure, turn them into slaves, do all the Can work for you. So with that said, <laughs> Can I just hide behind my friends? I'm I'm very small. I'm very petite. No, I'm gonna say no. I'm, in I'm this a case. I'm a petite little boy, and I just want to blend into the shadows. With that said, I've come too far to let you stop me now. Kind of hoped that those 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 thugs. Oh, that good. I, about. Kind of hoped that those thugs that I hired. Uh, to ransack my tavern would have weakened you enough for you to not be a problem, but here we are. So, you're not gonna go down quietly, so we might as well just get it over with, right? And she Bye. proceeds Bye. to- And we're on the same page. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not I waiting. do have she, something she's that's not, worth- No, it's, she's <laughs> doing something. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, she is going to close her eyes and using the uh, crown of black pearls is going to cast the black pearl. She can do a lot of things. Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay. We need the cap. How much is it worth do we want to get that crown intact? I mean, that's the treasure. Can't we just like Boop, take it off her head and leave. She's going to cast Maelstrom centered on your you as a group. Uh, mm. Yo, go. counter spell. Go for it. What level counter is counter spelling? Spell. Uh, three. Because uh, everything I do is on level three. 
Okay, that would be a... Uh, you need to roll for that one, then. You see, I think it's, what, 10 plus the spell level? How that yeah. works? Yes. Yeah. Uh, level 3. Uh, I rolled a 16. Counter spell succeeds. The spell, f and the spell kind of fizzles out. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Roll initiative. Fuck it. <laughs> She's angry. Let's do this. That's what I was waiting Woo! for. Well. <laughs> I want to freaking put this lady in her place right now. I'm tired of her. Thing all pretty, then knock us out. Freaking. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. She's a big old bee. Mm. <clears throat> Ooh. Damn, son. Alrighty. 20 plus? Anyone? 23. 23? Okay. Nice. 20. Nice. Okay. Uh, 15 to 20. Uh, 19. 15. Okay. 19 for same. 50 for the bugbear. The 7-foot-5 bugbear somehow is quiet, the most quiet of all of you. Um, what did you roll, uh, Opti? 13. 13. Okay. I was a double figures. Yay. Yeah, yeah true. Woo. With that, uh, Janice, you do go first. As uh, Pisca right now is kind of like swirling on top of this like whirlpool about 10 feet uh, above the ground or above ground level. Not a major issue. Step one, blitzing. Step two, lightning bolt. Okay. Um, we're all inside the one. Yes. Yeah, but she's in the air, right? She's like swirling above. Um, yeah. so I'll aim for her upper torso. <laughs> Which is out of the water, right? Yes. <laughs> Don't hit a drop of water, please. <laughs> we'll all die. Is that a saving throw or? Uh... Yes, a dex save. Dex save. Ooh, that is fifteen. Bastard. Um, <sighs> takes half damage. Okay. I mean, hey, shit. Yeah. From... Yes. This much. Uh, okay. 12 18 24 24 27 halved 27 halved uh, would be 13 points of damage Doki I would then like to separate myself from the group to avoid air of effect attacks alright preferably somewhere dry if possible but I doubt okay. that's going to be possible in this room. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as that uh, kind of, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, with that, it is Piska's turn, and she is first going to use a bonus action to use an ability called Taunt, and she's going to use it on um. Probably the most threatening one, which in this case would be... Would be the guy who just cast Lightning Bolt, probably. No, it would definitely be Gungnir, the big 7'5 fucking bugbear. Um, what Taunt does is... Oh, I need you to make a Charisma saving throw. Okay, okay. 13. 13, you fail, which means mm -hmm. that you have... Disadvantage on ability checks, attack rolls, and saving throws until the start of uh, Pisca's next turn. Okay. Attack rolls, ability checks, and saving yeah, throws. Yeah, basically right. everything until the start of yeah. her next turn. And for her action, she's going to, once again, channel the Crown of Black Pearls. Uh, dude, that's some oh, fucking yeah. fire spells in that shit, dude. Um... I attempt to do this thing. I know I shouldn't. But I could. She's gonna cast Tidal Wave. As she conjures uh -oh. up a wave of water and crashes down uh, in a. It's just a 30 foot. 30 foot wide line that goes forwards? I believe so. 
Uh, yeah, oh, it's a 30-foot 30 30 wide foot line. line. Up, uh, or 30-foot long line, 10 feet wide, 10 feet tall, and just... Oh. Um, and you're also kind of... Actually... Mm, Janice, you kind of fucked off, right? Like a little bit? Yeah. So I would like... <clears throat> Everyone but Janice to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Bro. Is it dexterity? Dex, yes. Oh, I have disadvantage, but I mean... Oh, you do. Doesn't get much worse than what I already 16. rolled. 16. 16? I'm quickly check with her spell save DC. Okay. 8. 8. What was that? Same? Sorry? I can't tell if that was 18 or 8. 18. Thank you. The double okay, digit. Cool. Now you're good. It's just sometimes your connection kind of gets fucky. Uh, 18. No, I know. Um, so, okay. Brech, same. You make the save, uh, which means you take half damage and are not knocked prone. Gungnir, <laughs> take full damage and you also are knocked prone. As it's just this large tidal wave just crashes, just appears, and uh, you take a total of. Piska used surf. Literally. What is it? There we go. It's super effective. Uh, that's the wrong fucking die altogether. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. 15, 18, that's 19. That's a lot of damage. Uh, 19 points of bludgeoning damage and knock prone for you, uh, Gungnir. Uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage to Brech and Same, and you are not knocked prone. <clears throat> you're fine. Good. Uh, that's I'm her fine. turn. Uh, and with that, it is Same. You're up. Uh, okay then. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to be doing immediately. And do a quick little bit of... No, no, not even like just kind of a quick magical phrase. And I'm casting Zephyr Strike. She's going to that attempt to counterspell myself. It. It's concentration. She's going to counterspell that. Okay. Um, yeah, it's level one. So. Level one. So yeah, that just succeeds. That's, that's counterspell. Yeah. Okay. Um, so as a free action, I'm going to glare at her and just... <laughs> <laughs> Fair. She just kind of, she just kind of, like smirks and just gives you, gives you a little wink. All right. Uh, is that your turn? Is there anything else you can do? Okay then. Okay. So the rest of my turn doesn't get. Oh God. We're losing hell. <laughs> Hell no! No, why? What's Talk happening? To us. I don't know. Uh, Zephyr Strike fucked up and you you flipped to the bird. What else? How far away is she? Uh, 10 foot up and about 20 feet away. Like 20 feet further, like down uh, into okay. the room and 10 feet up. I'm wondering if 10 feet is too many to stab with a spear. Probably not. Um, I think a spear has a 10 foot range, right? Does it? No, that's pike. It's a, no, is it just a pike? It, it's yep, pike, halberd, stuff like that. Does it just have five Yeah, foot? spear's the basic one. Yeah, I don't oh. know. Yeah, spear has versatile. You can throw it. That's it. Yeah, you can, but, you yeah. can chuck okay. it, but you can't, like, melee hit with it, because she's just out of... If you, even if you, like, stand directly under her, she's just out oh. of the range. Oh, because you can you can one-hand it. Okay. I guess when I hear spear, I just think of, like... And if I draw fucking... out my bow this turn, I... Uh, yeah, that would be your action. If you want to draw your bow... Wait, is that for strike a bonus action? Yeah. I think so. Damn. All right. This is yeah. only buffing your main attack yeah. in theory. Uh, so yeah, you could draw your bow, but that would be your action, and you won't you won't get a chance to shoot her this turn. Okay. Um, in that case, then I will uh, 
Oh, I hate to put away my shield. I love that thing. <laughs> oh, well. So I put away my spear and shield, pull out my bow, and I'll use my movement to go try to see if I can take some cover behind the uh, the gigantic car. Uh, sure. Okay. Sounds good to me. Alrighty. With that, uh, that's Sam's turn done. Uh, Gungnir. I'm prone. You are prone. And I have disadvantage on attack rolls. Correct. I might just use my whole turn to cry. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use my movement to stand up. Okay. And I'm going to throw a dagger. Sure. How do you and we lose another 11? dagger. 11? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Duke's mad. <laughs> Duke's angry. I mean... <clears throat> uh, <laughs> bonus action, hide! Under the water! <laughs> Make a stealth check. <laughs> Which I have disadvantage on. Yeah, 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 I do. Fuck. 17. Uh, Brech. Yo, I cast major armor on myself. Ooh. And then I move out a little bit so that I'm no longer close to anyone who might have been close. Go okay. the other way. Uh, and that's my turn. Fair enough. And then I'm going to take a quick pee. <clears throat> Sounds good. Ooh. Janice, you're up. Well, she looked like she enjoyed it so much last time. Zappy zaps up. Is it a lightning bolt cooking up? Mm. It might well be. Can I have eight dicks? Save and throw, please. How <laughs> can I have eight dicks? <laughs> <laughs> can I have eight dicks? One. <gasps> and she Ooh, uses the action to counter spell. Yeah. Same already, so she doesn't have counter spell this turn. And now exactly. she takes double damage because of the net one. That's not how that works. Naturally. Naturally. That's not how that works. <laughs> uh, right. So that's you five. Think, uh, no, not one five. pound to charity says it is. Five, minimum. <laughs> 32 points of lightning damage. Oh. Okay. That was some good rolls. Good, yeah. She, that was kind of, awesome. she kind of like as the lightning hits her, she just and looks at you and, and just like searches for eye contact with you and just oh dude if, if fucking oh if looks could kill. Um, I have a feeling there's nothing else. If looks could kill, she'd be dead already because I can. <laughs> fair, 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 fair. <laughs> the Leah from Zane. Oh boy, okay. Yeah. Is, is that your turn, um, Janice? I'm just gonna try and look like I'm not a threat. Mm. It's not going too well. Mm. Tis not. She is fully aware of what you're that guy. capable of. It was that guy. He cast lightning bolt. That guy. Oh, one over there. Um. And she is going to look at you and cast shatter. Uh, and this Ow. loud ringing noise, painfully intense, erupts from like just around you, Janice. Uh, I Don't need you to, to make a Constitution saving throw. Hato. I don't get anything fancy from this thing, do I? Nope. That is a uh, grand total of nine. Mm, you fail the save. This means you take full damage, so you take 14 points of thunder damage as this just, this this echoing, booming sound just make, makes you grab your head and just, oof. Um, I mean, you are not made of inorganic material, so the rest of the spell has no, uh, no effect on you, but you've got a ringing fucking headache. <laughs> 
Uh, really tempted me to use a spell. Mm. And she is also going to use her bonus action to use taunt on you this time. Uh, should have probably done that. Like, I, if you would have made the save here, I would have been pissed at myself. But she's going to taunt you this time. Uh, so that means you have disadvantage. Oh no, you have to make a charisma save. Sorry, charisma save. Mm. It's not a guaranteed thing. Say. Yeah, my bad. Does it fall under charmed s stuff? Uh, no. It does not. Uh, That'd be an 11, which is probably a fail. 11? Yes. Uh, you have disadvantage on ability checks, attack rolls, and saving throws until the start of Pisca's next turn. Um, and that'll be her turn. Same. You're up. Once again. Okay, so... Does my last spell work beautifully? Wasn't it really cool? <laughs> I'm going to cast another spell. Okay. Um, specifically, I'm going to actually let me make sure I went behind that conch. Is uh, is Janice? With is Janice what? Sorry. Is Janice? Is within sixty feet of me? Yes. Okay, then. Now, as far as I'm concerned, uh, there is a win no matter how it goes. So I'm casting Healing Spirit as a bonus act. Okay. <clears throat> Yay. Oh, is she a cunt? Can she see him? Oh, true. True, because you were like, you know, you, you took cover behind the... Uh... Hmm. Could you do me a favor, Hal? Make a stealth check real quick? Just to see if you go unnoticed. Oh. Oh, she took... Could you repeat she that? She absolutely sees me. I got a six. <clears throat> then in that case, uh, she is going to counterspell that heal. I am actually okay with that because okay. that burns her reaction and her and her uh, spell it's spell slot. Yeah, yeah, it does. Anything else? And since that's a uh, a bonus action, and I'm a warcaster, mm -hmm. yeah, that was a bonus action, and I'm a warcaster. I didn't even have to drop my bow to do that. I'm gonna take a shot. Fuck yeah! Take a shot with my bow. <clears throat> Okay, well that's that's a miss because that's a natural two. Yeah, no, that's not gonna. Happen. You shoot the arrow and it, it kind of just like falls into that uh, whirlpool that's like under her legs, and the arrow just and just gets extra attack in the water. Extra attack. True. You do got those. Fourteen. Does not hit, unfortunately. <laughs> Ah, sorry. Okay, that's all. I, now that's all now, that's now that's my gotcha, gotcha. All right, in that way, in that case, come here. Am I am I hidden? Did did, did the hiding last time work? What did you roll again? It wasn't it wasn't super seven, high, right? It was, it was high. I think was it, it was, it, was it seventeen. Sounds right, actually. Yeah. Uh, you don't know if she cannot see you, but you definitely, like, she is not paying attention to you at all. No, I have a 10 for range, so I can f I can fucking stab her from down here. Correct. So I can get right underneath her and just, boom, straight up the coochie. Well, uh, more like like her foot, maybe, not her coochie. Her coochie would technically be a little further up than... Right, right. So I mean, that's staunch on, right. on the ground. The, that's... Yes, the, yeah. yeah. Okay, so if I'm hidden, I'll have advantage, right? So... Sure. Yeah. Okay. I don't get surprise attack because it's not the first round of combat, and also, yeah. But oh no, Se oh, no no, seventeen to hit. That hits. Okay, perfect. Uh. I mean, you get sneak which... attack, right? Because you're. It is a sneak attack, but it's not a surprise attack. Surprise attack's the um yeah. the racial. Oh yeah. right 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 right. Sorry sorry sorry. Uh, I'm going to. Does she have a weapon? Uh. 
you have not seen her use it, but she does have uh, like a sword. Uh, she's wielding a sword. She's wielding a sword, but she's been just been casting spells mainly. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make this a disarming attack anyway. Sure. So uh, she needs to make a DC 15 strength save. Uh, 17. Okay, so she saves, but she does take uh, 8, 14, 19 points Ooh. of uh, damage from Shatter Spike. And I'm gonna go ahead and. <clears throat> trying to think what would do more damage here. <laughs> I'm gonna swing the Warhammer out of. Okay. Wait. I didn't roll my sneak attack damage. Oh, you didn't? Wow. Fuck no, I rolled two, two d8s because of the superiority die and rolled really well. Oh, uh, right, right, right. Five damage from the sneak attack as well. Okay. And the Warhammer was a... No, uh, dirty 20 to hit. It hits. So I'm just going to clobber her in... Oh, I'm going to make this a... I'm going to try and disarm with the Warhammer as well. So another strength saving throw. DC 15. Uh, 16. Oh, God. Just drop the sword. Sorry. Sorry. She takes 10 plus 4, 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Fucking hell. Dude, superiority dying nuts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fucking Battlemaster Fighter is pretty fucking yeah. sick. All right, that's I feel my like turn. I feel like it's pretty cookie cutter. But, uh, like, as in, like... It's, you know, nothing innovative of, like, the melee fighter archetype at all, but it's cool. Like, they do it well. Like, it's, it's... Champion fighter is way more flat, if you ask me. Yeah? But... Maybe. That's just, like, some passive points. I just see, like, yeah. whenever like you I, crit I, on I, I a 19. with fighters, it's, it's 9 out of 10 times it'll be battle master. I feel like I think it's because it has the most, like, when you're being a, a, a melee combatant, you have the variety that you can pick mm -hmm. your maneuvers. And so yeah. you can, like, if I'm going to be this kind of thing, I'll pick these maneuvers, you know? It almost um, feels like it should have been in there just as an, in the base fighter. Yeah. Not necessarily the extra damage, but the. Yeah. Um, moves. Well. What do I see? Things I'd be trying to disarm someone with an attack with a DC, like, yeah, that sort mm -hmm. of stuff. But the extra D8, you know, not to be sniffed at. No, definitely. Um, Brech! Yes! It's your turn, um, mate. I would like uh, to uh, make it dexterity saving throw. Natural 20. Hmm, just <laughs> testing the waters here, but no dice. Get it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, that's uh, that's my turn. I'm just uh, standing there, not doing a lot. Cool. All right, fair enough. Janice, back Faster. to you. How is she looking? Bloodied. She cute? I mean, yeah, she's a cute, <laughs> little, cute little Triton lady, you know, long red hair. What's her conch look like? Like, it's a shame that she's little, you know, you know, worshipper of some big fuck of all Hydra elemental evil water prince, but just my type. <laughs> you know, if you can get if you can get behind, if you can get past that, she's you know, sure. Oh, you met Piper. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really want to do this thing, but it's a terrible idea to do it. But also a really good idea to do it. I mean, fuck around and find out, bro. I want to cast a spell magic. On her circlet. Which would just fuck her over. <laughs> if I make the. So you I know might it's gonna be like magically it. fused to her in some way though. And like. No, I don't know. Magical effect, magical object. But it's my last third level spell. You can certainly try, is all I'll say. Yeah. I mean, it'd probably have a DC because it's not gonna be a third level magical item. But. It also means the circle is then worthless, which is what we're here to get. Well, it'd still look pretty, but you know what I mean. I'm sure those black pearls will still be worth a fuck ton, even if they aren't magical. In fact, black it's probably pearls. like cursed as shit, to be honest. I can remove a curse. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to touch it for that. Um, so, what do you do? Did you make up your mind yet? Uh, I wanted that, but I'm not going to do it this turn. Because if it requires a roll, 
I'm not doing it with disadvantage. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to start shimmering and become blurred by casting blur. Fair, fair, And then fair. I want to try and find somewhere to hide. Yeah. Out of line of sight. Kind of thing. Make a stealth check. With disadvantage. Yeah. Well, I'm not hidden. What's your roll? Oh, you! No, no. A natural, a natural 13 and a natural 1. Unfortunate, my good sir. Is that your turn? Yeah. Alright, Piska looks down at the bugbear, just harassing her, and is going to swoop down and with her sword make four attacks, just in real quick. Just... <laughs> Yo, it's almost like I tried to disarm her fucking twice. <laughs> First attack is a 17 plus 6, 23 to hit. Me? Yes. Yeah, that hits. Second attack is a 14 to hit. Doesn't hit. Third attack is a 16 to hit. Does it. Fourth attack is a 21 to hit. Uh, was it <laughs> three out of four? Three out of four hit, yeah. Yeah, I'll take that with an AC of 15. So you take a... Oh my fucking god. Um, you take a total of 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 6. 21 points of damage. 21 points of slashing damage. Ah, tis but a scratch! Mm, yes? Yes. And bonus action, Do she's it. going to taunt you. So make a charisma saving throw, please. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> oh, midway poop. 16. 16? Uh, that makes a save. You are not taunted. Woo. Okay, <sighs> cool. Pog me. Plus zero to charisma. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter, dude. Okay. Uh, that's her turn done. Um, same. You're up. All right, then. Mm. Well, it's nice to see that she's down towards the ground in potentially melee range after I've given up on melee. <laughs> yeah. It do be like that sometimes. You know what? I, I don't have any spells to really use her at the moment, so I'm uh, taking out my bow. And just two shots. Go for it. Natural 20. Okay, there it is. Ooh. There it is. So, since I'm hitting with that attack, I am marking her as my favorite. Oh, yep. Yep. And that damage die will double as well. Oh, did we lose Hal again? Oh, no. Hal! Come back I to actually us. actually hit. Hal? Oh, no. <laughs> I, it was... Natural 20, you hit a uh, favorite foe. Th that's where we left off. <laughs> it disappeared. Wait, what? Oh, God. And gathers Ooh. one. Ooh, this is, this is real bad. Uh, okay, wait, yo. Hal, mic check? Um, checking. Hello, hello. Oh, okay. Nat 20. I can hear you just fav fine. Favorite foe. That's where we lost you. So pick it up from there. And I was also saying gathering swarm damage as well. Yeah. And that's all dice rolls. So that all doubles. All right, cool, do we double it? the dice or roll twice the number uh, of dice? You roll the die and just double the outcome. Okay. <clears throat> this is gonna be a big one, dude. Okay, so that's oh yeah, uh, twelve plus five is seventeen, so that's thirty-four plus two is thirty-six damage. Fucking hell! Jesus. Okay, and that's all. That's that. You, you have another fucking shot. Yeah. Fucking Jesus. That one's a. Uh... That's a, a 15 to hit. Oh, that misses. Just misses. But then again, you did a fuckload of damage on your first shot. So you know what, dude? You know. I guess that's fine. God, <laughs> I'll take it. it. <laughs> All right. Is that your turn? 
Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm behind that uh, paunch again, separated like between her and I, and then other than that, yeah. Okay. Uh, Duke, back to you. So soon. Yeah. I mean, it's a short initiative round because you just—it's just you four facing one bad. And we are—I'm—I'm I'm still in in melee with her, I guess. Yes. And alone in that capacity. Okay. I'm swinging my longsword at her, by the way. Just if, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, 23 to hit. That hits. Oh, I'm going to try and disarm her again. Go so, for it. DC 15. That's the last of my superiority dice, but that's a DC 15 strength save. Let's see. What D20 have I not rolled yet today? This one. Natural one. Perfect. <laughs> Is it? Oh god. She takes four plus five. I want to say five. Five. Yep. So nine points of slashing. And I'm just going at her with the fucking hammer. Mm hmm. Clockering side of bed. With a. Is that a seven? Yeah. Plush. Seven's 14. To hit? Is it 14 hit? Yeah. No. Well, hammer misses, but that's fine. Uh, and then... Shit. Oh, no, I, I was confused. I'm going to action surge. Okay. And fucking swing out of the longsword again. Go for it. <clears throat> uh, which is a 16 to hit. 16... Just hits. Okay. Four... <sighs> Eight points of slashing. Eight points of slashing? Mm-hmm. Not looking too good, let me tell you. And that'll do it. Okay. Brech! You know, for this... Guiding Bolt. I'm gonna throw a big old fucking bolt at her. See if it hits. Go on. That's a 17. Hits. Uh, so that's... If you d6. 6 d6 plus 4. What level guiding bolt? Level 3. Holy Everything moly. Everything do is level 3. Right. Holy moly. Warlock, uh, that is a cleric. It's very Warlock. Weird. Yeah. I, well, this is a very uh, a Warwick. Um, twenty-four radiant damage. Could you describe for me your killing blow, please? Good, good. I'm a little covered, so I'm I'm trying to joust around a little bit. Hopefully. She doesn't see me, or if she does, I don't want to get a hit. And then if I see my shot, I'll throw a big ass fucking bolt right at her head. Okay. To guide everything directly towards her face, and then splash it into her face and make it dead. Takes her head clean off her shoulders and leaves Damn. the fucking. The, the black pearl circlet hanging for a second for it. And as this <laughs> happens, you can see the circle, the, the crown that she's wearing starts to just swirl and float up to the ceiling of this room and just <laughs> shatters. With that, the giant conch in the middle also explodes, revealing a mm. large chest oh, that was hidden God. inside it. I should have fucking done that spell magic. <laughs> I we'll regret try. to ask, uh, do I get hit by the explosion? No, no, you do not. You don't know. I regret asking, I but do get hit by it? Okay. No, you're good. Is it locked? Uh, it is not locked. <laughs> and in this chest, you find 500 gold pieces worth of assorted coins. Four silver goblets engraved with the symbol of the Cult of the Crushing Wave, encrusted with sapphires, worth 750 gold each. A pouch of six Azerite stones, worth 10 gold each. 
a crystal decanter worth 50 gold, and six bottles of fine <laughs> wine worth 10 gold each. So, with that, adventurers. You better we're oh, going to have to share uh, 20% with uh, the bitch, you know? We, told, we said we would. That's, that's so... That's so unfortunate yeah. that we can't do that. Oh. And with that... Yeah. How awful. The room <laughs> starts to shake as you kind of pocket all your treasure. And uh, the wall begins to crack open. The water from the room you're in just swir like just streaming out of it. Behind you, the vault door slams open as the half-orc and the half-elf that you freed followed the ruckus and, and, and joined you and, and in comes into the room. And as the wall cracks open, you can just see a pearly white beach. And as you kind of leave the cave, a couple of things. You may have exposed the fact that the, uh, the whole Jade Scales treasure thing is a crock of shit. But, you did find yourself some treasure. A quite handsome amount of, of money and, and, and valuable objects. Uh, I'm going to end this one shot with a series of questions, and I, I just kind of like just kind of because there's a couple of things you could do, but I kind of want to wrap things up because we're, we're, we're mm -hmm. you know. Would your group go back to the town and basically? Um, there's two options here. You either fuck off and go on your merry way. And find a way to get back to the mainland, and that's that's fine. Or would you go back and basically um, uh, let them know that you killed their master and see what happens then? I think I would. I mean, I'd, I'd vote for off. going back. I want yeah. to. <laughs> okay. I think I would just. I think I just did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah We've done well. enough for you. We've got what we came to get. I want to burn the tavern down, but I understand that we can't get up. <laughs> All right, with that. Midi hole town rot. Um, a few years go by, and you've been living off of your, you know, your your lavish, your like two thousand gold worth of treasure that you found, and you're traveling around, still, you know, traveling together as mercenaries. And uh, you're in a tavern one day. Janice, you get approached by uh, the half orc that was in the cage with you in this in the cavern that you explored uh, a couple of years ago now. Mm. She kind of, uh, assuming you're all together, sits down beside all of you and looks at looks at Janice. All right, so um, I went back to that shithole town. I don't know. I want to see what's good. It's gone. Tsunami hit. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> good riddance. The only thing that survived a tsunami <laughs> is the second floor of that bloody inn. <laughs> the second floor? Yeah, it's like the only thing that still rises atop, like, above the yeah. water. So I don't know if this is some, uh, cruel joke or poetic justice, but... Safe to say that, uh, people in that town got what they got what's coming to them. What a can't drown their roads in time. Hmm. Is that a poem? Sometimes. Just... Part of what we found down there. Oh. Well. Fair enough. Alright, well. It's good seeing you. And uh, all of you. Thanks again for the help. A couple of years ago. We, uh. I mean. Back to our usual, you know, bullshit. Adventuring, just like you, I'm assuming. So. Life's good. I'll, uh. I went, I went to the bar and, uh. Made it so that all your drinks for the rest of the night are on me. So, really thank you. Thank you, Kelly. And with that, we'll end it right here. As you uh, discovered 
the lies that was the treasure of Captain Jade Scale and discovered this entire town under the command of a Triton, worshipping one of the biggest elemental evils that exists, using the entire town as slaves to get to her goals, you put a stop to her. And found mm. treasure. Maybe not the treasure you were looking for, but you found treasure. The Can't real treasure one is shot the where... we made along the way. <laughs> Can't wait for another one shot where innocence <laughs> under are... the control of some big bad uh, yeah, die as a result of my actions. <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> it's least... your actions? Well, we destroyed the whole thing and it got washed away by a tsunami, like, whatever we did, and everyone who was in that town died. They can't all be held responsible, like... They were literally all in cahoots with fucking... By choice? Yeah, everybody. everybody dead. Not a problem. Listen, Shouldn't well, be evil. I would not... I would not worry. I would um, not, could not. What would have yeah. happened if I cast a spell magic on her crown thing? Uh, you so, can't dispel magic no. items. That's just very simple. You just can't. It's impossible in 5e. You yeah. cannot spell magic items. What? You used to be able to in older versions, but in 5e, you cannot use the spell magic to dispel a magic item. But that's an object. <laughs> Something. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, but you just the, the spell magic. Yeah, does, but the, the spell magic doesn't work on on magic items. You can. It's dispel... about objects that have had been enchanted with a spell, right? Not a magic the item. Fuck? So like, yeah. yeah. So if you cast a scrying, so like not scrying, but like. Uh, an alarm spell on something you can dispel that from yeah, an object, yeah. but you can't it's, dispel it's, it's a weird. magic it's item. Weird. That's dumb. Yeah. No. Yeah, destroying magic items is like well, what a... big. You need like big things, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, just well, an anti magic. If what? We tried to... what would happen if you tried hmm? to what? Mage hand the crown off of her. Um, the crown was cursed. It was fused to her. You wouldn't wouldn't have been able to remove it. Yeah. Oh. Checks out. Gotcha. Um, yeah, right. Thank you guys so much for playing. I, I really, like, I just was not in the fucking mindset to DM today, so I hope I did, you know, I, I definitely wasn't top of my game. <laughs> nah, but, still good. Uh, I'm fucking yeah, knackered. It was still a very fun time. I'm exhausted. But uh, thank you so much for playing. I had fun. I had interesting one shot. Uh, wasn't didn't go the way I thought it would go. Loki, I did some, 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 like... So what was the trap that I triggered with Mage Hand? Oh, dude, there's like six layers to that trap. I'll, I'll like, I'll go to Discord tomorrow while I like go through it real quick. But there's like literally, there were like six traps inside that fucking con shell. Uh, pff, it's nuts. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. Thanks for the raids. Thanks for the donors. Charity. Thanks for the subs as well, guys. We, we, had, we had a couple of subby webbies. Appreciate you. Uh, we're going to be out of here. And I'm going to go my fucking, get my fucking ass to bed. Opti, Hal, Good Hunter. Heart. It's been a pleasure having you on the channel. Do come in. You know, we have here on a weekly basis, twice a week, if you know, typically. So, yeah, I'm even sure probably sick of me by now, to be honest. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but Gungli was fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, your friendly neighborhood bugbear. I guess Jamaican bugbear. I guess Jamaican bugbear. Both, both of you keep those both voices you know. forever. <laughs> I, no. it's, an, it's a, again, another one shot where I've played a character that I really, I hope I get the chance to play again, just because, like, <laughs> I've never played a multi-class character, and mm -hmm. what the fuck, dude? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's nuts. Uh, we'll be back here next Wednesday for another one shot with new players, uh, and I'm not sure what one shot yet, so fuck, fucking join the Discord. Join the dungeon yeah. select I've Discord, y'all. Um, go on for level five if you want it. Uh, I don't know, y'all have a look if you want to just send it over, I'll have a look-see. Um, you may already have access to it. I'll have to um, double check. Really? Hmm. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Appreciate yous. Have a good night. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.